feel like a news anchor. World's worst <laughs> podcast number ten. Number ten. Double digits, gentlemen. We made it. We Are did we it. Famous now. I hope. I hope. I really hope so. I need to I'm use my like... fame to leverage cheaper prices at stores. <laughs> It's getting a bit that ridiculous. Sounds, man. This six pack of Stella cost me seventeen dollars and twenty cents, but I feel like if I was marginally more famous on the internet, it could have cost me seventeen dollars flat. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. World's worst podcast number ten, gentlemen. Wait, we, well, this is a double digit episode. Celebrations are in order, hence the jacket and the Stella Artois, as it is an important day. We had a fun filled episode. All kinds of stuff packed in there with delicious kernels of nougat you know what i mean we got uh, we got guests coming up we got all what kinds of good are. shit yeah it's gonna be a good time man but uh yeah brennan you want to take over for a second do a little bit of bookkeeping off the top yeah so right away anyone that's tuned in already or that will be tuning in and you'd like to watch the rest of this uh fully annotated for all the portions that you may or may not like to hear um they will be all uploaded to first of all our youtube page um but then as well we have a new facebook page for the group to which um, we're streaming now to which we are streaming now um it is the world's worst podcast um that's right do we have are you streaming from anywhere else or are we just streaming straight nope, off this one? just straight off the page straight, straight off the page, to the page right. Right. this time um all right and then there is the group as well um but we're probably going to be taking that down so just anyone that's on the group over yeah. to the page um and that's that move uh, to the right yeah, uh, it looks like there's that. about 60 people on the group and like 40 something on the page right so, so whatever those random come on over to the page instead yeah those random 20-ish yeah. people that are over there in the group that aren't liking the page yet we fucking see you okay. we have the analytics and we know who the fuck you are just think about that and then yes, That's for right. all the YouTube content, it will be uploaded to Sid Zedler, um, but shortly It'll it will be changed to a new channel. But for now, that's where it will be. You can mm -hmm. find it there, and then probably any change of uh, channel will be posted on there as well as here. Yeah, man. So that's uh, bingo that's bango. All the follow stuff. Um, Boom! Knocked it out real good, dude. You fucking uh, you McGregor Alvarez that fucking that read right there that was good. That was a good time. <laughs> So how's everybody's it. how's everybody's week been? You guys had a good week or what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. not too bad, not too bad. Welcome back, Kieran. By the way, you know, as uh, you know, we can't just brush. Told it off you he was fact. still here. We told yeah. you we didn't dispose Everybody of him. Everybody didn't believe us. They thought we killed Nate. Yep. You, but no, there yep, you are, I, still I, alive, fully intact. You got both. You got all your limbs, right? That's what I would have done. Nice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Well, it's the most logical solution. But uh, I just make don't like some, being accused of stuff friends. that I haven't done yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> some Brendan Bacon stuff like that. Some, Ooh. some Martin Soup. Yeah, some Jared Ham. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, some, I only like I, I only like that Jared, Jared roast. I like Jared, that Jared, Jared, Jared roast. roast. I only like that Jared roast yeah. when it's sliced real thin and put on a piece of toasted rye. You know what I mean? Real thin. That's nice. Shit, what's thinner, that that's good shit. Thinner, what's, that, what's that shit thin. Amy was talking about? There was like a sandwich or a bagel with uh, salmon and cheese and and capers Lost. on it. It looked awful. It looked awful. But I'd like to make one out of those of it a Jared meat instead of disgusting salmon. It was that would just automatically make it good, right? I would hope so. Anyways, it'd be much more delicious, I would think. Anyways, anything that doesn't come from the ocean is automatically better than anything that came from the ocean. I think that's an indisputable fact, and anybody who disagrees with me is an asshole. Sure. <laughs> but uh, Lucy's decided to join us. Oh, Lucy, hey. I miss you. Oh, and there she goes. Hey, she, well, it was a good down. appearance. It was a good appearance. Yeah, she's glad to gonna, see her tail is probably most likely going to make more appearances than anything. Glad to see she's just as plump and healthy as ever. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, you've been <laughs> feeding her, like, decently. She hasn't been going without. You know what I mean? That, that's good to see. If I ever saw oh, yeah, her, if I read to see her and she was, like, skeleton bones, you know what I mean? Like, like five pounds less than what she was. She couldn't, she couldn't live like that, dude. She's been fat for the last ten years. She needs to be fat for the next five. Until she goes into cardiac she's still, arrest. She's still eating a fifty dollar a bag of food. Oh, nice. Living she's, like a queen. Yeah, being treated like a princess. She literally Spoiled eats better than I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I haven't gotten groceries for myself yet, but the cat has gotten to eat really nicely. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's a good <laughs> You know, that's just a sign of a good animal owner right there. That's all it is. That's all it is. Oh, Amy, call me a bitch. 
You'll be okay. It's okay. I didn't mean it. It, wasn't <laughs> it was just a horrible, horrible sandwich suggestion. <laughs> you have bad taste, <laughs> but it's not your fault. <laughs> but yeah, you guys had a good week so far. What, pretty boring and shit. I moved into a new place. So that's not boring. That. That's that's not boring yeah. in the slightest. How's uh, how's the new house and shit? Are you all like getting settled in? You all settled in? You still got shit to move? What's the situation? I I got internet and stuff hooked up on hey, Thursday. What else uh, do you need? It, it was it was supposed to come this morning, but I was like, yeah, um, I work from home, so that's true. This podcast funds I your rent. Really need the internet. <laughs> And they're like, okay, we'll see what we can do. And they came back, and they're like, we'll be there Thursday at 8 a.m. Perfect. So you guys that was the way ship. better than today at 12. <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, Execulink, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, the same company that I'm with. So, yeah, big ups, Execulink. You're yeah, actually, like, a half decent. You, you get the plug this week, Execulink. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the, the free, unpromoted I plug. I was going to say that. I remember that shit, like, on dial-up I had them for really? internet. Really? Well, yeah, for like a long they're OGs, time. dude. They've been well, rolling thankfully, that shit, my dude. internet's not making any of those noises right now. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. That's when you gotta get nervous when your fucking modem starts screaming <laughs> dial-up sounds back at you. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we made a mistake, boys. We're going back in time. This is a yeah. bad time. I remember. That's when you know you fucked up. Uh, dude, I remember being like, oh god, how old would I have been? Like eleven or twelve years old, and first discovering boobs. And then I had to like, and we we got the internet at our house. You know what I mean? And then, like I could look up boobs on Google on, on this new thing called Google. And then yeah, dude, I looked up boobs, and like you could look up pictures of boobs too. It was so good. But when you click on the picture of boobs, because it was still fixed can. 56 it fucking was a- k. <laughs> it's still a thing. It's lost its allure. Trust me. <laughs> I can see all the boobs in the world, and I still have trouble, like a hard time coming to them, dude. It's like, ah, oh, that's not big enough. Bigger boobs. Bigger. Bigger. <laughs> it's just like it never, it never satiates the need, dude. I've been desensitized. <laughs> Back in the 90s, I remember, like, seriously, sitting there with, like, 56K dial-up and clicking on a picture of boobs. And then I would uh, <laughs> I'd be, like, jerking off because, like, it would go, li- like, it was, like, line by line loading in. You Five know what I mean? minutes Yeah, loading. dude. And, like, I would come when it got to her cleavage. I didn't even get to the nipple and shit like that. You know what I mean? I was, like, already exiting the tab before I even got to see the boobs. I don't think I saw a full breast until I was, like, 13. You know what I mean? Uh, like, uh, yeah, I mean, have the patience. Ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I, it wasn't the patience. I didn't have the sustain. I didn't have the sustain. <laughs> I didn't have the endurance, dude. It was ridiculous. Now I'm on the complete well, opposite end of the spectrum. Dirty. I'm watching like watching the most fucked up porn you could ever think of. You know what I mean? There's like five dudes banging one chick, just like the most horrible, heinous things being screamed between the five of them and shit. And I'm still just like, yeah, it's pretty fucking foul, I guess. When's the one dude gonna put his dick in the other dude's ass? Maybe then we'll talk about something interesting. Like Jesus Christ, dude. Where did that line become drawn, man? You know what I mean? Where they're just like, yeah, that's it. But uh, yeah, so yeah, that was a good time, man. But yeah, I remember like trying to log on to the internet. I forgot where that story started. I just talking about coming too soon to internet pictures. And then uh, I remember logging on to the internet, looking up pictures of boobs. And then uh, when I would let them load or whatever, I'd have to, like, when you're logging on to dial up, it would do that fucking screaming. And I'd be, like, grabbing the router and, like, trying to cover it so it didn't wake my parents up so I could, like, jerk off to fucking lines of porn at 2 in the morning and shit. Anybody who says they misses the 90s is an asshole. (laughs) That shit was horrible. Between that and grunge, it was a fucking horrible time to be alive. Oh, God. You there is nothing good to be seen from the 90s, dude. I, I, I'm yet to see any kind of enjoyment or appearance, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, no. I've had uh, I've had a pretty pretty uninteresting week myself as well. Just uh, full of nothingness and boring. I had Thursday off because of, like, Thursday reasons and stuff. And, um, yeah, it was a bad time. Oh, yeah, there's a Lucy tail just hanging out in the side there. Oh, dude. Every time, dude, there's just always going to be there. I got to see both of those guys on Thursday, so that was at least good. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that was nice. That's good. That's a good day for sure. I didn't. Uh, I tried to be like productive as much as I could. I did like a bunch of work on like the annotating and stuff like that. Kept myself busy. I made some dinner and uh, went for a nice bike ride and shit. Jerked off multiple times to weird fucked up porno that nobody should ever have to be <laughs> beheld to. But uh, such, is, no one such is the seen. life we lead, gentlemen. Such is the life we lead. Was all it, I know is that it's all legal because it's on Pornhub. 
So that nothing that I'm watching is on a, uh, not allowed to be watched. You know what I mean? Even the weird stepsister shit that I'm even questionable if they're even half related. <laughs> you didn't make your way down to heavy R, Martin? No, 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 no. Martin, Martin doesn't scroll that far down on the internet. He gets a little nervous. Heavy R, and, and uh, he starts getting that heavy R and E-fucked realm of the internet, and he starts to say, no, thank you. No, thank you at all. And he turns back to Pornhub, and he says, no, I'm good. <laughs> farthest and most exotic martin gets is like some weird subreddits that will not be mentioned on this podcast but uh <laughs> that's about as that's about as weird as <laughs> is it surprising that the guy that bought a fleshlight has some weird depraved sexual perversions is that fucking strange to you because it shouldn't be all right get over yourself what, your, uh, what about your magic cum pills have they shown up yet no they haven't yet actually and i'm assuming it's to do with covid Oh yeah, Kieran uh, wasn't here for that last week. Um, magic what bills? Cum yeah, bills? Yeah, they're cum pills. They okay. make you cum more. So you, you ever had a situation where you're with your lady friend and you're just pumping her full of rod, and then you know what I mean? You're about to bust your happy load all over her fucking acceptant chest and shit, and then all like it spews out, and you look at it and you're like, "Wow, that's piddly, dude. That couldn't even at best be considered a puddle." You know what I mean? You you need Semenex. That's what you need. Semenex not only makes your load more viscous and thick but more volume all right you could treat your girlfriend i already made this joke last week but you could treat your girlfriend like the victims of pompeii encase her in an unexpected hot goo that she will not see coming but uh yeah so anyways when i was jerking off to my depraved porn last week uh i came across an ad for semenex and, uh, and you ordered it. Of course I did. Obviously I did. What am I gonna what am I gonna do? Not order the pills that make me have more cum? Of course I fucking ordered the cum <laughs> pills. That's fucking stupid, dude. Don't be stupid. So yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting on them though. And there's been no update in the shipping yet. But um the strange thing is they do come from Guadalamore in the Middle East, which makes me a little nervous. Alright, yeah. Made I that, would made that fact up. That's not true. They come from Virginia. Okay, well, FDA, that would make me more F- nervous right FDA now. FDA approved, ladies and gentlemen. We're good. This is coming off me with that one. Yeah, Wait, I got you. Come good, from right? Virginia? Yeah. What, I'm not sure if it's West Virginia making cum pills. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that Chase, Chase work security at that fucking. <laughs> like, through, yeah, through his like, food distribution plant, they also ship the semen X pills and shit. He's like, yo, I saw your name on an order today for. Why did you order 57 weeks worth of semen X? Because I don't know what the next year holds, sir. That's why. <laughs> well, it looks like a lot of semen. Yeah, for sure. If there's one thing that I can assume this year will be full of, it's a lot of cum. <laughs> And a lot of bounty paper towels because well, bounty is not only durable but it's the quicker picker upper. So you like, can't see uh, them, but off to the side, Martin has two shot glasses, a before and after. Yeah, you know, yeah, and I'll fill them up them live up. on episode twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants Stick to see around. that. Nobody wants to see that. Join my OnlyFans if you want to see that. Um, and if you do want to see that, I'll put your name on a list and report you to the FBI because you're fucking. That's not. That's not okay. Dude. It's a far as things no good. That's not okay. Calling the cops on you. <laughs> Semen X. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, I forgot you weren't here for that one, man. I'll uh, I'll I'll send you. I'll, I'll bring some of the pills down on the on uh, when I come down to London there for the the hockey game and stuff like that. And uh, you can try some Semen X too. I hear if you crush <laughs> I hear if you cr- if you crush the Semen X up and sniff it, it's much more effective. It's twice as <laughs> potent. <laughs> Crush it up, put it in a wet <laughs> Just crush it up pills of fucking semen boosting powder. Railing lines of semen X. <laughs> oh! You're just like, oh! Oh, yeah! Now I gotta come along. Oh, I gotta go to the, I gotta go to a bathroom stall in the Richmond. I'll be right back. Evacuate! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Balls are just like throbbing like an alien's brain. <laughs> Have we talked about enough uh, enough about common dicks? Do you think for this episode? Probably. You think, you think we can move past that or what? So, Karen, I, I can transition us. That's easy, dude. So, talk, speaking of uh, coming in new places with immense amounts of volume, the new place, Karen. <laughs> would you uh, maybe we should, maybe we could get a little tour around? You know what I mean? You, you got your Discord on your phone there, right? If you want to. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it, dude. I haven't seen the place yet. I'm curious to see what kind of layout you got going on there. Let's see. Well, currently you're looking at a wall. Yeah, that's true. 
And there seems to be pillows against the wall. There's a lot of walls. Is there? Is there any door frame? I hope there's at least four. Yeah. I would, <laughs> maybe even with a window. In just in this room. There's a couple rooms. In that room alone, dude. <laughs> in that new room alone. Well, um, I had the the phone just sitting on this little little table here. Nice. But it's a, that's an end table that sits over on the other side in the corner there. Right, right. Well, that's a nice big-ass window you got there. Is that like the living room? Yeah. This is, yeah. Nice. Wow, that's it's huge. the living room. Wow, that's um, really big. Holy shit. Yeah, so that's the living room. I came out of the room the in the back there. There's a little plant room. I'll show you it, that. You too. should uh, paint it black to match the size. <laughs> big black room, dude. <laughs> BBRs. A little plant room. A little plant room. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. As a normal human would call it, a closet, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I call it what I want. Well, that's fine. Yeah, uh, totally. It's your house, man. You pay the bills there. You get to call it whatever the fuck you want. You can call it a masturbatory for all you could, for all I care, dude. Kitchen. Masturbatory. <laughs> dude, I'm on fucking point tonight. What's going on with episode 10? It's the Stella. It's feeding me. It's feeding me. This is comic this is comic fuel oh i know it's on the left oh what do we got uh, this is jared's favorite room what's jared's favorite room Uh, oh i thought i definitely thought it it would be my roommate's uh, bathroom i definitely would have thought jared's favorite room would have been uh like one of any bedroom (laughs) where he could fuck wives but yeah so yeah this is the yeah the first bathroom that's a nice bathroom there's a a shower there and it connects to the back uh like the bedroom or whatever this what goes technically with this bedroom. Oh, it's like just across. Is... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice, Ooh. nice. That's nice. Individual thermostat for the room. Dude, with its own dresser? Jesus Christ. Could you get more white? Yes, I can. Washer oh, and dryer. Oh, shit. In their own closet? Get out of here. <laughs> There's a light in the dryer. What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. You can never lose a sock in there, dude. And then this is my bedroom. I guess you need to turn the light on. Doesn't want to work. All right, fuck the light. Yeah, nice, dude. It's pretty big. With your ginormous I bed. What, I don't know what to do with this space over here. Legos. That's a good question, yeah, actually. Yeah. Probably gonna put my Lego there. She get and like then, one of those uh, cool, uh, get one of them cool like glass display cases and put your Lego in them and shit like that. You know what I mean? Ooh, I got one of those. One of those sick ass like have, corner have stand that. things, whatever the fuck they're called. You know what I mean? With the light and shit. Those are. I like, I like that. I like that. And then this shit. is my uh, walk-in closets. Mm, I like how you yes. pluralize that. That's very nice. <laughs> Damn, dude, you have two closets. One for jerseys. One for jerseys. <laughs> it's like me with suit jackets. I love it. And then, oh, I a, hold on, I flipped it around, my bad. What's going on here? You got it. Oh, yeah, and then obviously other yeah, shirts and stuff. Normal, everyday and clothes. And the bathroom attached to... Oh, nice. That's balling, dude. Yeah. That's a nice yeah, place, it's man. Place. It's a pretty, pretty expensive place, but... Yeah, such as anywhere, really, realistically. It you know what I mean? Is. Like, uh, it yeah. is what it is. But you got a nice yeah, ass they're place. All... Dude, you got a bathroom that you can walk into from your bedroom. That's pretty cool. I can poop in the middle of the night. I can too, but I live by myself. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, it doesn't count. It definitely doesn't count. If there was someone else living here, that would mean that they would live in this office. And I'd have to kill them for supremacy because where else am I going to record the podcast? That, that door over my shoulder is also a bathroom, but it's just a shitty little half bathroom. It's just like a poop squat room kind of thing. And poop so squat. <laughs> that was like my entire bathroom in my well, last apartment. When on the toilet, my knee basically touches the sink. Well, I'd rather have my knee touch the sink than my head touch the roof like my last place. Remember that shit? Yes. Yeah, Dude, yeah. I had to stand a like, foot and a half back from Go to like foot. take a piss and you gotta like stand like this. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, no, this is cool, dude. Your house is really nice. Yeah, this, is, this is good. It's real good. I literally stood like a foot back and oh, like there was like a cutout, and I was like, my head hurts. <laughs> Listen, Jared, man, that fucking ceiling could have had cathedrals tops, you know what I mean? And you would have had to stand a foot back because of that fat dick, you know what I'm saying? Let's not let's not kid and joke around that it was because it was the fucking room cranking your neck around, trying to be all humble and shit. Humble pie. Uh, 
I've never seen it, ladies and gentlemen, but I have a good imagination. I've seen his hands and ankles. You know that. <laughs> My ankles. Both of which are thick with at least one C, dude. They will, they, that dick will fuck you up. For that but is it semen X thick? Mmm. Well. That's the curiosity. <laughs> That's the curiosity for sure. Who knows, though? You know, we'll never know unless you, like, take semen X and then don't take semen X. Oh, Jess is in the chat. I missed her. She was, like, talking five minutes ago. Literally popped in to say, mm. new porn POV, Kieran. Yeah, she was talking about your camera angle. She was enjoying it. Apparently. New what? New porn POV. Oh, and then corrected to nice. Yeah. But that worked <laughs> nice. out even better. That was perfect. Yeah. yeah, it was good. But, uh, yeah, man. Other than that, I have had nothing going on. What about you, Brennan? You had a boring week. How's your foot doing? You on the on the, the road to solid recovery still? Yeah, doing good. Doing good. Haven't been. Have you done another kick flip yet? yet? But uh, will soon. Yeah. Are you st- are you yeah. able to do a hundred meter dash yet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do? don't think I've ever been able to do a hundred meter dash. To be honest, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. But you ride you ride a skateboard, <laughs> so like if I had to pick two people to be competitive as being the most athletic in the group, it'd probably be you and Kieran, as you are the only ones that do physical activity. <laughs> no, I don't. You play the hockey. You do this thing with the puck and the stick. That's true. You do, that, you do that stuff. I don't do anything. I haven't for stuff. a while. I haven't been able to. Yeah, I was going to say, but like, what are you going to do? Hey, we'll do that on the 25th, though. That'll be a good time. Uh-huh. Slap some balls around and shit like that. I also call Brendan and Kieran both being on my team. Um, <laughs> seems fair and reasonable. Dibs. We'll all just be a team. Team worth I'm podcast. Not. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a real good idea. I'm down. I'm real. Yeah, I'm down with that idea for sure. That's a really good idea. And then oh, we get Martin smoke. Yeah, I'll play net. And, oh, that's uh, a big one. Wow. As long as you just never let any shots hit the net, I'll have 100% save rate, and everything will be perfect, dude. So it's but, true. It's up to you. Guys. We'll just block a lot of shots. Mm-hmm. Sacrifice the sins, boys. Don't be a fucking bitch. Yeah, dude. Nobody needs a pussy on this fucking <laughs> squad. All right. We need we need shin dents and bruises. Potentially bleeding. Hack the himself. bone! Hack the bone! Hack the bone! Yeah, bone. yeah exactly. That's the <laughs> shit. How about you, Jared? Anything exciting happen to you this week? Did you go get your model no. yet? No. Jesus. I haven't Christ. gone out to Neo Tokyo. <clears throat> I imagine that Rona's strong in Neo Tokyo. <laughs> that seems assumptuous. I'm sure they're fine. Oh, I got uh, the a Rona really nice strong. camera. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, let's see. What'd you oh, get? Yeah. Actually, uno momento. I'll be back in two seconds. Hold All right. What? Why All are you right. leaving? Because he hates us, dude. He expressed to me in confidence uh, before you guys got on, and he was saying, like, man, I just like those Kieran and that Martin and that fucking Jared guy, man. They just, like, they all smell like feet, and I just can't stand them anymore. And I'm like, they look, really, dude, really... like, I don't want to smell like feet, but, like, I have to pay to do my laundry, okay? And it's really expensive. So, like, sometimes I just can't afford to do it. So, yeah, I'm going to smell a little footy. But it doesn't detract. It doesn't detract from the fact that I'm a good person, Brandon. And he said, "I they, don't give a fuck stink about that." and I hate them. Yeah, and he said, "I don't care. You stink, and I hate you." That's exactly what he said, Karen. And it <laughs> fuck, it hurt me. Like in in like this spot. You know what I mean? Like right in the right here, yeah, right in the like, cock. First, I thought it was indigestion because I had two taquitos from Seven Eleven, but then I realized it wasn't indigestion. <laughs> it was actually hurt and betrayal, and that's what that feeling was. I don't Is Seven Eleven in Stratford actually it's a little bit of? Uh, What's that, Jared? I said, is 7-Eleven in Stratford still selling that kind of food? Yeah, they are. I went to, I've been to two Circle Ks the last couple days, and they don't sell any of that right now. They're well, that's because Circle K is a bunch of fucking bitches, all right? And they're trying to save people's <laughs> lives by not spreading coronavirus. 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven doesn't, doesn't give a give fuck. A 7-Eleven doesn't care about your well-being. They don't care. Yeah, 7-Eleven's like, fuck you, eat our food. There's profits to be made. You want an undercooked chicken finger? Come to us, cunt. I'm like, God, yeah, we got it for you. You, you want a back. taquito that's real sketchy and kind of weird and half cold in the middle? We got you. Like, no, it's I don't 50 want that. cents. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dollar twenty. You know 20. you fucking want it. You know what you're getting, you moron. <laughs> you know you fucking want it. Like, don't fuck with us, all right? Yeah, 7-Eleven's like just does not play games in the slightest. This is Jared waving from the <laughs> side. What the? I know. What the hell is Jared doing? Oh, <laughs> all right. Less mystery, more reveal. That was that was really quick, Jared. I'm moderately impressed. All right then, keep your secrets. <laughs> oh, I forgot my microphone was muted. Oh yeah, it happens to the best of us. 
Oh, is that me? Because I just like, hockey for I that. I've seen how, how far to the side my camera picked up. I was kind of uh, like not even in front of it at all. It's kind of scary. Checking the old framing. Oh, Brandon's back. What's up, brother? Oh, I'm just messing up my audio. Messing up the audio. Oh, there we go. Going down to funky town. Is uh, Jesse all <laughs> good for 10 minutes? Oh, dude, nice. Ooh. God damn oh, that it. Nice. Looks like a, it looks like a train. You can mount that thing to a rifle. Yeah, so it's, I mean, you won't be able to see shit with yeah, that. Yeah. Where'd no, you get the balling. microphone? Um, that's not a mic. It's just like the grip mount. Yeah. Oh, okay. so I think it's for, just like the filming. Whole, yeah, handle. But it's it does have like the mount for. Videos? Pardon? Is that for your skating videos? Um, yeah. Well, it's, for yeah, anything. I want to do, yeah, pretty much anything. Um, yeah. Well, so I'm going to use episode. it for like doing skating videos, uh, live episode. I as well have a, uh, po- uh, tripod for it. So yeah. that's ball. That's dude. nice. Does it have yeah, an XLR? Does that. it have uh, XLR in for the mic or how does the mic input work? I'm um, so yeah, there's like a small mic input on the side here. Like an XLR or a three and a half? No, not XLR. It's just, uh, just the small. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's it cool. It takes like the, like the special fucking, I don't know, like camera. Yeah. Uh, it's a special mic. kind of thing or whatever. That's cool. Yeah. They have like a, they have like, they go on the mount on the top or nice. I could put like my flash mount there. Um, but, yeah, because that um, whole like mount thing is like separate from the camera, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's balling, dude. This just like you should bring that up to the ball hockey game and like yeah. do some film. Yeah, that's a yeah. good idea. Yeah, I'm um, yeah, yeah. I I, I got it because I've always like wanted a camera, and then like I've just wanted to do like filming and shit recently. So that's a good idea, dude. It's a good investment, hmm. yeah. Especially if you're like interested in that kind of shit, that's a good way to get into it. That's fucking very yeah. nice. Yeah, I figure like I want to do like cars and shit too, like film cars. I'm like really interested in doing that, and right. uh, yeah, so it's imagine pretty nice the, little fucker. Uh, I love the uh, viewfinder on it. That's what I like. A new website called Set- your daughter does email dot com. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> Jared fucks your wife dot com. Yes. <laughs> We'll integrate a search functionality where you can search your wife's name and see if Jared has yet. <laughs> it's a database for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole spreadsheet with just names and Jared's dates for when he plans to fucking be full of rod. Has Jared fucked my mom dot com? <laughs> Jared is Jared fuck- my dad dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and then he makes an email like, and he makes an email like will jared fuck my wife at gmail.com and you like send pictures of your wife to jared to see if he would fuck her <laughs> that's perfect all right hold on i'm gonna go grab a, like, grab a drink. like this is my neighbor's wife i hate him go I fuck his wife i don't like him <laughs> gonna make his wife feel real fucking good though that's for sure my neighbor's wife's fucking hot go get her I like the way her, I like the way her one tip points this way and the one tip points this way. That's my favorite. You got some pair of mouth over there, boy. BRB. <laughs> You're like bye. There goes Seinfeld. Also, film work, comedians, and cars. <laughs> Who's in the chat? Yeah. Who? Huh? Show us. I know. Your... I know. There's three people oh, watching. It's probably us three. <laughs> <laughs> Who said what? I told, I told them to show us their dicks. So we'll see if they. Oh, cool, maybe don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to say that. Who's showing what? Don't I'm worry. It's doing... just it's just my name. It's not the the uh, attached to the podcast. <laughs> it's <just> my purple <laughs> account. <laughs> oh, Jess popped into the chat. We're gonna see Jess's dick real soon. How do you Steve see this? Dick. I don't Steve see dick. any. I think of... it's because I'm on mobile. Maybe it like tells you more. That's stupid. Like I just use my phone. I keep it there. That's dumb. I only have one monitor, so I just use my phone to look at that. What are you doing? I'm not signed in on my phone, so I don't wanna. Wait, you have two phones, Karen? What the fuck? Mm-hmm. One's, one's more so a tablet. It just essentially is. It's my old phone, so it's just hooked up to the Wi-Fi here. Word. You're on the Wi-Fi here. Uh-huh. You know what's funny? The other day, yeah, I'm they, you like Wi-Fi. they're like, Mom, I deliver groceries for a job. And then I can be giggled. I do deliver groceries, Jared. That's what I deliver. That's what he does. What are you laughing at? That's not even funny, dude. You think it's you think his occupation is a fucking joke? Do you think people eating is a yeah. funny thing? 
So you, you yeah. think that's hilarious? People like spending yeah. their free time, time eating themselves stupid until they don't even recognize shapes or colors. You think that that's fucking stupid, Jerry? Well, I think you're stupid. <laughs> Calm down, Jerry. Jesus Christ. Don't fucking tell me how to live my life. All right. What's the deal with airline food? I ain't like that. <laughs> I think What's it's, up uh, with that? it's about time, what? though. Are we, uh, is, is Jesse ready? Uh, let's see. Because we are, uh, we're about at that time. It's time for time to bring on the first guest. I think. It's well, we've already had our uh, first guest on for a while, it. technically. Oh, Lucy okay. has been on for a while. Yeah, that's true. She's she's an extended guest. She's found the pillow to sit on. She's like, this is comfortable. Yeah, she's like, I'm good now. I don't need to move anymore. Look at that beautiful yeah. piece of cat. <laughs> that's a nice kitty right there. <laughs> That's a nice, that's a fucking nice looking kitty right there. Oh, oh, she's a good fucking kitty right there. Man. Kitty cat is <sighs> nice to smell that's like a nice cigarettes. Good cat. She's a good kitty. Good old kitty. Yeah. Good news is. She can't be denied, dude. Hopefully Jesse's no. ready to go. Oh, yeah, she gets whatever she wants. Yeah, we'll give him. I'll give him a minute to respond. We said 7.45. No. I've got 7.42, man. Quit being pushy. Listen, man. I'm trying to pull full my role as a producer here, okay? I pressure, <laughs> I pressure women into sex for roles, and I keep people on time schedules. That's what I do, okay? <laughs> Holy fuck. Whoa, hey, man. I'm sorry that I make a joke that was insensitive <laughs> towards the fact that producers are fucking clown scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, I'm man. a horrible person for pointing out obvious things. Man, that was like that was like <laughs> one of my favorite things in the dead in Deadpool too, and he was like wheeling himself out, and he's like, "Oh my god, so many elderly white men on the walls. I should have brought my rape whistle." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" Well, you cut deep on that one, dude. <laughs> like, fuck. I'm just stated as it is. You know what I mean? Anytime, like <laughs> yeah. any kind of an attractive female needs to go in for a role where she needs to meet with somebody in a private setting is a fucking sketchy situation. Like, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Not interested. That is not okay. Go to a public. Go to a Jax. You know what I mean? Or a fucking. I don't want your outback. movie, Mister. Yeah. <laughs> Go have your meeting in an Outback Steakhouse, reputable and public. You know what I'm saying? Good for everybody oh involved. My God. The fans. I have a movie role for you. Would you like to meet in the IKEA parking lot? Perhaps you'd like end. to come to my hotel room and let me lick on your nipples while we discuss it. I mean, discuss uh, the contract. I prefer feet. <laughs> well, okay. If, I don't know if if I was like getting assaulted by anyone, I'd prefer that they just want to look at my feet than ever look at my like anything else. <laughs> I expose yeah, my feet on a regular. Yeah, like, exactly. I was, say, I was like, once you get close uh, enough, I'm gonna feed you those toes, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what <Wha> bam? <laughs> right from oh the bottom. You know what I mean? Like fucking just like fucking bam! right, right in the oh. mouth, dude. Feed them those moccasins. <laughs> you don't gotta take no shit, dude. I got ciabatta bread. Oh, you got some ciabatta bread? Oh, that sounds real good, dude. What are those? Good. Oh, those are like uh, little fucking cookie things? Yeah. Yeah. Cover I, your those are I think there's shareable size on here somewhere, but... I don't you know what I love the fucking those OMG clusters or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. like graham cracker and like something. Oh fuck! I got, That's essentially I got, what these I, are. I fucking caved and got a bag of those the other day at Seven Eleven because they were like staring so me in the expensive. face. So expensive. I know, but, but they're, they're so great. good. It's like getting like chocolate yeah. covered pretzels too. You know oh I mean? yeah, like, yeah, but it's just got that <sighs> chocolate with it. Eh? So, oh, it's so fucking good. good. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, it's got that cookies and cream chocolate. You know what I'm saying? You know what? That's an interesting mm -hmm. conversation. Ooh. Um, what is, if you guys had to rank candy bars, right? Yeah. Uh, what would you, All what, right. what would be your apex? Go ahead, Brandon. It sounds like you're pretty confident already in your ideals there. Oh, it's just, that was a good, that's, a, that's an intriguing, uh. Oh, I can start us because I already know so what mine is. Ways. I already you know go, then. Twix. Twix is my ultimate supprime chocolate bar. If I you got to, it right this time. Yeah, if I only, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm going to describe it properly this time because I've had one since then. But Twix is the best <laughs> chocolate bar because it's, it, you get two, two bars in one, right? Yeah. I, wait, 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 real quick before you continue. Right. Which one do you like better, the left or the right? Is there a difference? No, there's absolutely no difference. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought there was, I really thought there was a wrong answer to that question and that I was eating these wrong. No, they're both amazing. Uh, if I had to pick one, uh, right, because eventually when I become emperor of the country, all left-handed people and left-handed anything are going into concentration camps. 
Oh, no, you're no, gonna I'm not gonna, take gonna the kill the long him. way. Yeah, around. no, no, I'm gonna okay. work him to death, dude. We need license plates. <laughs> All right, we need license plates pressed, and we need fucking we need buttons on sweaters sewn. License you know what I'm saying? That we can read in the dark. You need like good license not, plates that you can actually read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not oh. executing anybody, dude. That's a terrible idea. What you do is you work them to death. All right, Stalin had the right idea. You build a gulag. Yeah, that's what you do, dude. That's what you do. Uh, yeah, but that's when I'm emperor. Also, uh, vote Martin Sauer. Uh, what, what when's the next election? 2023. Yeah, 2023. Vote Martin Sauer, 2029. Or, uh, wait. 2031. Yeah, wait, that's, Martin. that's when I'll run begin for president. Your, begin your speech, then. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I'm not prepared for this. Uh, inequitability is an inevitability. <laughs> <laughs> Things will never get better, and you need to learn to accept it, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as you accept your role in society. Everything will become better. Yes, 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 yes. Understand that I am your supreme overlord and that I know what's best for you. I understand your needs and your wants and your desires. I will lead you to glory. I will bring you into the next generation. I will lead us into the future. I am the future. And if the masses aren't cheering at that point, I really don't know where to go from there. That's basically all I've got. But uh, yeah, that was good. God I damn, I was hyped on that. So one. Well. That was nice. <laughs> when the music started playing, I was like, "Where the fuck is that coming from?" <laughs> Just swelling up from underneath me because it's so inspiring. The Soviet <laughs> national anthem always rises to the occasion. My <laughs> word created it. Watch well, is gonna right, copyright okay. strike for having the Soviet national anthem in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran, what's your favorite chocolate bar? You know what's funny, though? Uh, I don't know. Bert, Dude, all Bert that Bert led Bert off of a Twix. Was <laughs> Twix. <laughs> That's my whole... I didn't even finish my argument, but Twix is the greatest chocolate bar. Because, because it, it combines all aspects that you want from a candy bar. It's got chocolate, cookies, and caramel. Go ahead. <laughs> I contest you to defeat me. I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know, man. My only contender um, would be Mr. Big because it's got the same deal going for it, but there's a bit more. And it's bigger. Yeah, that's true. That <laughs> there's so true. many good ones. It depends on my mood, yeah. man. Like, oh, if I want, yeah. if, if I need like energy or something, I want a Mars bar. Right, if I right. want to pig out, I want like a crispy crunch. I don't fucking know. Oh, those are good. Crispy there's crunch. There's too many awesome. good ones. You guys ever make like your you own crispy crunch when you get those Easter chocolates and you melt them back down in a pot with some heavy cream and you pour them back into the mold with some Rice Krispies? You guys ever do that? Hmm. No. Yeah, no. no. Oh, you never done that? Really no, good. straight up, dude. You got to try that. You know, you get all those shitty ass fucking chocolates at Easter and you never care about them. <laughs> Throw them in a fucking pot with like a bunch of butter and some heavy cream. You know what I mean? And melt them back down until it's like a disgusting, amazing liquid. And then you take the molds that those chocolates came in and you put some Rice Krispies like the cereal in the molds. Yeah. And then just re-pour the chocolate back into the mold, stick it in your freezer, and let it cool off. And then you get, like, crunchy bars. Ooh. Yeah, it's fucking balling. We used to do that all the time, yeah, man. Honestly, crunchy bars, too. Those are one of the best, man. <laughs> crunchy bars oh, are good damn. shit. Those That's... blue bars. Yeah, oh. dude. That's some good shit. What do you think, Jared? What, what's your favorite? I was going to say, like, the crunch bar, like the blue one. Yeah, that's what we're that's talking about, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, they are called crunch. He's right. They're not crunchies. They're they're crunch. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, crunchy's the one with the sponge top. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, crunch, the blue the blue bar one. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, yeah, 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 that's the one. But what else that, do you think, think, though? Those are good. That was going to be, like, my main one. I don't know why. Anytime I run into one of those, I'm like, yes. You don't see them very often, but, uh. It's a good fucking choice, man. Crunches are really, really, really good alternatives. One of these is pretty good, too. Cookies like and cream. Yeah, dude. Cookies, cookies and cream for a long time. See, like, I think I just, like, burnt myself out on cookies and cream. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, every time mm. I would go to 7-Eleven or, like, a, a variety store and I'm, like, mm. all stoned and I want a chocolate, I'd always get a cookies and cream bar. And just like, you know, one of those things where you eat it so much where you're just like, I don't even care for this anymore. It's like arrow yeah. bars. That's the same thing. I, so I many eat, arrow bars. I can't dude. eat Joe yeah. Louis or Flakey's ever again. You know why, though? That's not even because you ate them too much. That's because they just generally suck. They're just well, not, no, I, they are not I good ate snacks. Too many of those as a kid. Joe Louis are foul. Eat. If Joe Louis ever reached out to this podcast and was like, hey, you want a, you want a sponsorship? I'd say, fuck you. You are disgusting, and I don't appreciate you. I appreciate eugenics more than I appreciate you, you disgusting fucking snack food. Get away from me. That's what I'd say to them. 
that that's ex- and I would respond in kind. I'd say yours truly, Martin, and then I and I send the email back. That's what Any reply from Jesse? Uh, no, I was just gonna say that. I'm like, I'm heard from him. That's nerve wracking for our professionalism. That makes us look not good. <laughs> it makes us look like the world. Those guys don't know what they're doing. This is not good. This is not good. We had one. Jo- he had one job, and that was to be ready at 7:45. People, man. I can't. You can't rely on him, dude. You just can't do it. He's on the run from the Mexican cartel. That's what you got to do sometimes. Well, uh, no somebody way. somebody linked something earlier in the chat. I'm um, uh, where it was like the Far Cry Six thing, right? Didn't you link that, Jared? While you're stuffing your fucking melon there, God damn it! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's professional. What was it? A uh, Far Cry Six no. trailer or a reveal no. or some shit? I don't know. I didn't really read the article because Far Cry is fucking stupid. I only shared it because Gus Frank is in it. Oh, you you like Far Cry? You like climbing towers and fucking exposing the map and doing fucking mini quests over and over? You like that, dude? Is that fun to you? I don't like it. No, nobody does. That's why nobody bought Far Cry 4. They didn't even realize it was fucking released. Such a piece of shit game. Yeah. I go to the games that just get in, like, the used bin or something. Yeah, no, that's exactly it. Where I'd be like, like on the Steam. last one that I had like a good interest in that I actually played was like number really? three because it was like a decent yeah. thing. It was on and even what three was at the time new console. Yeah, that's, that's and why it was like four, and, uh, shit. but even three though, like three got real fucking old real oh, fast. Oh yeah, it was it was climb tower, climb tower, climb tower, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, like, yeah, reveal the map, secure the base, yeah. reveal the map, secure yeah, the base. It was it, it was like holy shit, but the story was good. Yeah. I'll give it that. Uh, what was the bad guy's name? I'm always a sucker, too, for, like, hunting. Whenever you can hunt in a game. Yeah. Like, even though that got repetitive real quick. It's like, collect all these Oh No, that's fun, it. though. I but like that. Still, I, like I it, did that yeah. uh, in Red Dead Redemption, too. It was the same Especially thing. Especially like, special animals. Yeah, like, fucking legendary animals yeah, and shit. That's cool. Yeah, anybody else here uh, played Red Dead, too? I have not uh, gotten through it. I don't know why I haven't. Oh, finished okay. It yet. Well, we won't. We happened. won't spoil. I'm pretty anything, sure. Then. I. I mean, by this time, I've had all of it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. So no, but it. still, I'd rather not spoil it. You know yeah. what I mean? It's one of those like, um, that game is one of those like experience-driven games. You know what I mean? Where like yeah. the story is the experience to it that makes it so and, enjoyable. And, and the reason I didn't, I haven't finished it yet, is because it's one of those games where there is so many like possibilities and things to yeah do that, oh like, yeah i would be doing missions but then i just get like sidetracked I'm like Ooh, yeah gonna, i gonna um, do this for an hour I, I i have a fucking xbox uh xbox one in my in a box you know what i mean it is not yeah. even cooked up or anything because i don't give a fuck about it but um mm-hmm. i have one of those where like the only reason i have it is to play fucking red dead 2 you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. and like yeah i literally bought that console just to play through it and like my god did i ever play through it you know what i mean like yeah but it was the same thing i spent like I don't know, man, probably like 90 or 100 fucking hours, like just going through the main story. Cause like every time I do something, they're like, you know, oh, there, there's a gator out in them swamps. You can go hunt them down. And I'm like, yeah, I would very much like to hunt that gator down. Let's fucking do that, dude. That sounds sick. And you're like, yeah, do you go out and do that? Or you like get distracted by some other side quest of some brother fucking his sister that have all yeah. the inbred kids and shit. And it's, oh, I God, found like I'm a big distraction for me when I was, I got like the legendary fish map. And then I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> the shit. And try and find all the fish and yeah, shit. Yeah, dude. The fishing was so fun, too. It was, like, yeah. oddly satisfying, you know what I mean? I but, like um, yeah. The, 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 the story in that game, though, man. Like, I've never played a game, like, before mm-hmm. or since that, like, drew me in so hard into the main character. You know what I mean? Like, with Arthur and shit like that. You know what I mean? Where, like, you feel so fucking bad for him and shit like that. It's like the story, like without spoiling things or anything like that. But like, as the story progresses, like he's just like trying to make things better. And like, it just will not fucking happen. You know what I mean? Like yeah. no matter what he does, like everything just goes to shit for him. And like all the people around him that he loves and shit like that. And like, yeah, it's just like this imminent collapse. You know what I mean? Cause you played yeah. red dead. So you know where the story ends. Yeah. I was you know going to say I mean? this, so like, uh, like this is like it, a big point that I heard someone talking about that. I was like, why they loved it but why it was like such an emotional thing is because like fucking everything was almost was pretty much for not in yeah the, literally that's exactly yeah that's exactly what it was that's what's so fucking heartbreaking about it you know what i mean yeah. like not everything in the you know what fuck it whatever spoilers you know what i mean for like red dead 2 and shit like that for anybody yeah. that's watching that doesn't want to be spoiled on it and shit like that um we're going to be talking we're going to be breaking this shit down but uh yeah like there's like i said there's never been a character in a video game that i've ever gotten so fucking attached to because of his struggle you know what i mean because he's just such a good guy 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he's just, like, trying to do the fucking right thing. Like, he's done a lot of bad shit, obviously, and he knows that he's done a lot of bad shit, and he talks about that, you know what I mean? But, like, he's trying to, like, not like be Jack's that man anymore. What's that? It's like the Jax Teller of Cowboy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, he's just, like, trying to make the gang... But that's so accurate, you're right. He's, like, trying to steer the gang onto the right course, you know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah, but we could, like, do this legitimate shit, you know what I mean? And, like do like real things you know what i mean and move ourselves out here and not have to worry about this shit and blah 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 but it's like you know the leader is just like (laughs) yeah oh we can get into that afterwards fucking goddamn oh my god but um yeah and like as the story (laughs) goes on like so much i thought about that when you're shooting someone i'm like how do you not have blood on those so so much bad shit just like keeps constantly happening to arthur you know what i mean like over and over and over again to the point where like when they like they go on the boat to do the robbery i think it was i haven't played this in a long time so excuse me if i get the order of events wrong but uh, they go to rob this boat or something and then they have to leave the country essentially because they have nowhere left to like escape to you know what i mean so they like jump on this frigate like this boat to like sail out into the ocean and go to cuba i think it fucking was so they could escape right but it was like they get cast away on the ship and marooned on the island and like that's like a whole piece of the game too you know what i mean oh oh we got him we got him Oh. Hold on one second here. <laughs> Let me get this all set up. It's going to be uh, one minute here. Tom. Oh. oh, that's awesome. What's up, Jesse? How you doing, brother? Oh, uh, you know, I just uh, have awoken from a nap. Oh, nice. How was it? And, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I... Um, Did you have sweet I mean, I... <laughs> marshmallows and fat-titted women? No, no, it's uh, one of those itis snaps. Oh, that's I ate way habit. too much, and <laughs> that's way less enjoyable than what I was originally describing for sure. <laughs> Passed out in a in a shitty position, and I got this like you know, <laughs> got this pain. <laughs> this delicious throbbing, achy pain. It's just so good. If there's anything I can oh. recommend to you people out there in viewer land, it's that you sleep in the same position that Jesse did and just crank your fucking <laughs> neck to the right. That is oh, yeah. the shit, dude. Everybody if loves you don't, that. <laughs> if you don't do it once in a while, then like... Yeah, what no. are you really doing with your life at that point? You it, know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's a great Saturday night plan. Trying to get all this, <laughs> this cropping down here. Apparently, a fifth person makes my life very complicated because I am a moron. <laughs> but we're working it out. We're working it out. You know what I mean? Hey, Sweet Thing get... doesn't like hold the scene. Drop that shit. Yeah. Well, now we got a fifth person, so it alters the scene entirely. It moves yeah, all of our cropping. I don't know. Yeah, it has like uh, Kieran and Jesse like split in half. Yeah, it'll be fine in a second here. There yeah, we go. It's... I just have all you guys at the top. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah, it's no, just for it's, our it's viewers, just... essentially. Yeah. Oh. For yeah, the, on Discord, uh, it looks aftermath. fine. Yeah, on Discord, it'll be totally cool. But it, uh, in uh, viewer land, everybody has a bad time. Except for now. Everything seems to be good now, I think, generally speaking. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, welcome, Jesse. Thank you. Thank you for joining <laughs> us, man. We really appreciate you showing oh. up, dude. Thanks for having me. Dude, anytime, for sure. We are striving for anyone to come on and hang out with us and drink beer and do the things that we do that are stupid and a waste of time. <laughs> it's a good time, dude. It's a good well, time. cheers to that. Hey, yeah. where's uh, where's my beverage? There you yeah, go. hey, yo. Cheers, brother. Number 10. Yeah, Christmas number cheers. 10. We're up in the double digits finally, so we're having like a little bit of a, like a like a friend celebration this evening, you know what I mean? Just right having on. like uh, just having everybody jump on and like have a couple of drinks and have a good time, shoot the shit and, Let's you know. Hear. Any kind of stupid stories or good times that you got rocking out? Brendan having his little shots yeah. there. Oh, nice. Way to chase it. Nice. Nice. How, how wet is your vagina? If you, had to, if you had to scale it on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being extremely dry with 1 being very moist. <laughs> Be like an 11. Back, like the so. Sahara Desert 11. <laughs> <laughs> just dry squenched just squench it so bad guys just suffering <laughs> how's your week been jesse? how's your week been jesse you had a good week yeah hasn't been bad been hot as fuck like everybody else you know 
Yeah, it's been an it's insanely kinda... hot week. Anybody else been like cooking at work? Like, holy shit, dude. Oh, man. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I have a sweet driver thing, if you can't tell. 34 degree <laughs> weather plus like a Humidex plus like living inside of an enclosed building made of steel. Those are all winning <laughs> factors that lead to you breathing well. It's a good time. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, but yeah, no, I don't. Well, I don't get it, dude. That is like so rough. You know what I mean? I think. Uh, I think when like temperatures reach a certain degree, we should just call life off in general, and just let yeah. everybody, <laughs> everybody go the fuck back to bed, dude. I, I, I agree. I agree. Oh wait, we already <laughs> well, did that for three months. I'm in an underground hole. And I... You live in an underground. Oh, you do you live in a basement, Jared? No. Oh, I thought you said you live in an underground hole. No, we should be allowed to go hide in an underground hole. Oh. As the hobbits do, yeah, I agree. That'd be the shit, dude. Build our own bag ends. Like a one fire one. village. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a connection of all these like interconnected fucking hills and bullshit. That'd be pretty sick, dude. Yeah, I can get down with that. So, uh, Jesse, Brennan was mentioning um, before that you like for work and stuff like that that you'd like travel to Mexico and things like that. Oh yeah, dude, that's super interesting. That's cool as fuck. Do you have any like cool like Mexico stories or anything like that to like fill out things? um yeah yeah there's some good mexico stories <laughs> um <laughs> worry not I, I, worry not about like your pg ness of anything you know what i mean we've uh, yeah. we've already established that i think even tonight alone i've said the word retard like probably twice at least so, retard i mean it just means slow right yeah 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 i was referring to pizza slower dough. yeah i was referring to pizza dough i, I put it in the freezer and i retarded it you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Yeah. Retarded Our like I like that today, retarded that kid. <laughs> I, I retarded that dough almost as retarded as that retarded kid down the street is fucking retarded. You know what I mean? It's all good. Just say whatever you It's mean. all good. Just make them better. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like saying these things because yeah, every I, time I say them, I see Brendan's face go like this. <laughs> and, it, and it just makes me fucking chuckle a little bit because i know that he has to deal with the struggle of it you know what i mean and I'm like, yeah it's a good time oh i just i don't you know i don't give a fuck it's just you know i know i know you live in a realistic world <laughs> I don't care. i'm just like i just i'm just like every time just like oh i know there's people that are like oh, oh, oh. Like, and i invite them to send whatever. me a message <laughs> i invite you i know i invite you, you. <laughs> Martin Sour on Facebook. You no, know, I never care what you say. I, anytime my reaction is that, it's yep. just for like the sake of. I should. I guess it should be oh, expressed. Yeah, it should always be. Like I don't that. think I've, we've ever <laughs> ineptly expressed the fact. The views expressed by Martin Sour are not representative <laughs> of the world's worst podcast as a whole. Any words, phrases, or incantations that Martin may recite while on the fucking podcast are not representative of the views of the podcast of the whole or its guests. So let's just get that out of the world, you know what I mean? Just because I use words like retarded and things like that doesn't mean that people like Jesse would use words like retarded. <laughs> it, yeah, this is true, but... Yeah, so there's my I preface. I, well, there's my I have, preface. I have said retarded on occasion to occasion. Yeah, no, I say it on occasion too. I call those occasions well, we, weekdays. Yeah, we, the, the age we grew up in, we all said it for sure. Oh, dude, there's yeah. way there's they way don't. worse things that we said in the age that we grew up in. You know what I mean? And like, uh, uh, we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna start referencing those, but like, let's say there was an instance, let's say there was an instance on the schoolyard where somebody you know was hit with a ball and fell down. I think there might have been a at least one f word that I could think that majority of the males may have called that other male, and it wasn't fucker. <laughs> It wasn't fucker. <laughs> it wasn't fucker. I'll tell, you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. It, definitely it wasn't, wasn't fucker. Yeah, I can <laughs> guarantee that that's what it wasn't. Yeah. So you go ahead and piece that together. That, But yeah, that was the 90s, dude. I told a story last week on the podcast oh, where like there was a man. dude that we used to hang out with. He used to put his ball and cocks on our shoulders and shit like that. Nowadays, if you did that, that is literal assault. You know what I mean? Like that, Dave, that's yeah. some Dave Chappelle shit. Oh yeah, my God. yeah. Like, back in the day, it was just a prank. You know what I mean? Like it was like no, that's Louis C.K. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Louis C.K. had Louis C.K. had the hey, dignity to can ask. Can I put your nuts on my? Can I put my nuts on your shoulder? Oh, it's too late. I already did. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. They're already there, aren't they? Ooh. They're already there. Ooh, that's a shame. Remember, it's better to ask for forgiveness <laughs> than ask for permission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever the fuck yeah like, that's stupid horrible awful saying no no it's not it's fucking not it's definitely not it's actually the opposite just ask 
This is from the guy who used to use, like, the F word, not fucker, and retard and shit like that. You know what I mean? So if I'm saying it's not okay, it's probably not fucking okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, we got jump sidetracked on that one, man. We were talking about Mexico originally, right? No, let's be <laughs> the fuck? How does this happen, dude? We were talking about Twix before uh, earlier, and I went to a communist manifesto. Yeah, the, <laughs> the fucking Soviet <laughs> anthem started playing out of nowhere. Seven or dude. I inspired so many citizens. They rallied behind me with trumpets and drums and such. <laughs> it was quite amazing, honestly. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. But we uh, new gulags just open. Back to, speech. but back to. <laughs> that wasn't because of the speech. It's because I planned it. We need those gulags. It's important. But back to Mexico. All right. Whereabouts in Mexico do you normally travel <laughs> to, Jesse? Or is it like all over? Um, I've been to a couple of different places now. That's uh, cool. Yeah, uh, Puebla, uh, Hermosillo, Cuatro. Where's Hermosillo? Because uh, I've heard of Puebla before. But where's Hermosillo? And, uh, man, Hermosillo is um, on the west side. It's like oh. right beside Baja California. Oh, okay, so like the other end. Yeah, yeah, because I've been to like, or sorry, I've uh, had lots of people go to the east side of Mexico and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, Yeah, the west end is definitely the road less traveled for sure, so that's pretty cool. Well, if you go just a little bit south of where we were, if you go to Sinaloa, that's that's the uh, Mexican cartel territory. That's funny, I was just going to say that, the Sinaloa cartel, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. They love if to you, decapitate you... people. Dude, they love white people. It's their favorite. It's their fucking favorite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah dude, we're worth fucking, we're worth mucho buenos, as they say. Uh, yeah, you know it's funny. I've always told Jesse, I'm like, yeah. you're lucky that you kind of look a little bit Mexican. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can, like, lie about oh, yeah, no, like, for I'm not sure. I'm Filipino, I'm Mexican. Yeah, dude, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, nobody would nobody yeah. would question that for sure, you know what I mean? Because obviously, like, yeah, you just, like, speak some solid Spanish and shit like that. No, nobody's going to question that. You ain't getting like, abducted. Like, an accent, man. Hey, mm-hmm. what you talking about, brother? Hang, right. hang yourself. Oh, God, that was a racist joke. You know what? We're rolling with it. Hang yourself yeah. out in front of a road and get a ripped T-shirt and shit. Wait for a pickup truck, dude. Nobody would ask any questions. It'll be fucking perfect. <laughs> I made a bad joke. No, I said mine, where I was talking about hanging oh. out in front of a Rona and waiting for people to pick you up. <laughs> Sam, like what the fuck? No, oh, yours was fine. Oh, you were you were golden, dude. You were set. Well, it was just an accent, all right? It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> you're totally good. But yeah, so you're like right <laughs> close to the line of like no bueno, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I'm I'm right in I'm right in it. That's intense. Yeah. You have any like has anything ever like intense happened or like you seen any like crazy stuff? Um like nothing like I don't, I don't know, man. It's it's really different. So it's not yeah. like South American bad, you know? Like, right, right. Yeah, no, that's honestly why I was asking. I have, like, that perception yeah. of it of being, like, you know what I mean? This, like, horrible, like, esque war zone type of place and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's, it, like, a... it, honestly, I would, I would go as far as to say, like, Detroit is, <laughs> is, um, you know, <laughs> almost worse than some parts of Mexico. Yeah, no, dude, oh, I can totally probably. agree with that. Some pictures I've seen of like, like say Flint, Michigan, and shit like that. That place yeah. looks like fucking Iraq, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's been like bombed yeah. out and shit. Like I've been fly to Detroit whatever. Once, and I had a guy try to sell me a mixtape. It was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, I was like, "Wow, this is not the place for me." Poverty has been stricken hard in this domain. Jesus. Thick chain around his neck. He started rapping at us. Oh, so he he doesn't need you to buy the mixtape. He's doing fine by himself. Let's do it. He's trying to go into a Dropkick Murphys concert, and we're like, no. Like, wow, you're really (laughs) marketing to the wrong crowd on this one, dude. This is not gonna be. This be like us trying to follow the podcast up on a children's special. You know what I mean? It's like, no, this is not who we're trying to sell this to. This is this is not the right place. (laughs) Next up up on PBS. Yeah, Yeah. brought (laughs) the world's worst podcast. Brought to you by viewers like you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your funding. Yeah. Oh my god! I remember, I remember Family Guy did that and like brought to, brought to, uh, made possible by you viewers like you, and then just goes this Asian guy. He's like, "Hi, I'm you." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh yeah, that's god. the shit. That one, that's so good. Yeah, just like cut to like anybody, be like, you're welcome, and just like cut hard away, dude. That's so good, dude. I love that. 
It's fucking great. Oh my god. God, we are so good at getting sidetracked off of stories. This is incredible how good we are. <laughs> but yeah, so like everybody has that perception of like Mexico being like the, you know this like like you said like this horribly run down like gang ridden kind of place you know that's run by yeah. essential cartel warlords and shit. But it's not like that it's though. Not. Essentially, what you're saying, eh? Well, it depends where you go. Right. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's a fair point. Yeah, I guess it depends yeah, on the they're... region for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. You, I, where you were saying if you go like farther south, right, like into their yeah. domain, quote unquote, or whatever you want to call yeah. it, like it's probably not a happy place to be. You know what I mean? Like, well, well oh, it's probably great if you're in the cartel. Yeah, that, that, yeah, up. that's fair. Oh, that's God. fair, dude. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's the next question. How hard is it to get into the cartel as a Mexican citizen? Because that seems like your better avenue you know what i mean rather than trying to fight these guys and shit oh. i've seen videos of the police trying to take them down it ain't fucking happening it ain't gonna go down Man, like, there's so many there's so many people in it though because that's like, it they're huge you like you can make so much money being in it you know and comparatively like what they make like say a factory worker yeah yeah Dude, this is why I've, I've said for years, the war on drugs is like the most failed endeavor in history. You know what I mean? Where it's like, mm -hmm. there's no reason to like make drugs illicit. Like we were talking about this last no. week where I brought up the idea where I have like very libertarian views when it comes to like people's uh, ability to do what they want and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think the government has a place to tell me what I can't put in my body, i.e. drugs. You know what I mean? I, mm -hmm. I personally don't believe the government has a right to tell me um, how or or my right or ability to defend myself you know what i mean through whatever yep. means i find to be necessary blah, blah blah things like the government doesn't have a role in those individual day-to-day -day shit right and when it comes to no. shit like drugs all we're doing by making these drugs illegal is literally promoting and like you know what i mean funding the idea of these cartels because they're literally funding themselves through illegal sales of drugs and shit like that so it's like mm -hmm. if we just made things like cocaine and shit like that legal you know what i mean tax the living mm -hmm. shit out of it and just make some oh, yeah. money off of this stuff it would literally yeah. diminish the idea of the cartel's control you on those population that. because we wouldn't be buying it from them we'd be buying it from labs where it's fucking grown in the states or canada or here wherever you know what i mean like yeah, they, they oh, yeah. The, the war on drugs more, makes more no than sense than another Whole Imagine stuff, some dude. medical grade cocaine. Oh Jesus Christ! Made by guys. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like I've seen the I've seen the documentaries, right? Like cocaine right now is made by guys in fucking like track suits and and ripped t shirts. You know what I mean? Stepping yeah. on the coca leaf. Imagine if that shit was made by dudes in lab coats and white jackets. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm in. I'm so in. I've done the cocaine made by the footman. You know what I mean? And it's fucking pretty incredible sometimes. It's a, it's a good time. You give me that scientist cocaine, oh my lord in the highest. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I'll give up on my faith and all that shit for sure. Did you send me some of that 100% pure fucking and Colombian too, deliciousness? And it would also, like, like as far as this, like, decriminalizing or legalizing would go, it was it would also, like, cut down. It would it would assure that people have, like, a safer connection for yes, it. Yes, for know sure. it's clean. I mean, yes. You know you're not going to have a problem doing it. Yeah, yeah man. the reason why people are dying of ODs is because exactly. it's all dirty. Yeah, because yeah. it's cut with like whatever fucking sketchy shit or whatever else. You know exactly. what I mean? Because those or dealers are trying to maximize their profits. A fucking grain of fentanyl somewhere, right. and it, you know, like... and it's like, yeah, if we just legalize this shit, right? And this is the other thing too. I've always brought up this argument when people try to counter it, where I'm like, they're like, oh, we can't legalize drugs. The usage would spike, right? So like, let me like attest to you a question. If you woke up tomorrow and fucking heroin was legal, would you go to the convenience yeah, store and buy heroin because all of a sudden it's legal? Oh. No. The only yeah. people that are going out and buying heroin are the people that were already buying heroin. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like nobody's doing. like yeah. waking up being like, oh, it's legal? Oh, I think yeah. I'll inject yeah, myself with this sketchy substance. That sounds great. You know, like yeah. nobody's doing that, dude. There's people on the internet that fight vaccines for Christ's sakes. You think anybody's voluntarily going to go out and fucking inject themselves with sketchy... Africa or uh, Afghani made fucking heroin? No. Mm -hmm. Only mm -hmm. the people that are already doing it are gonna fucking do it. It's such a ridiculous argument. Like, yeah, so stupid, dude. And the war on drugs. Just legalize everything, man. Let people make their own fucking decisions and stop telling me what I can and can't do with my life. See, there, this is where the swell of the American anthem comes in, Brendan. You know what I mean? We're like, people deserve yeah. freedom. They deserve the right to make their own fucking choices, and they deserve the right to not have fucking Big Brother put their hands in their fucking pockets and tell them how to live their lives. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Go fuck Do you remember yourself. a couple of years ago? I think it was like, it was a European country. To they had to switch around some of their ban laws, and the way that it worked was, they had to remove a law, wait a certain amount of time to for the next one to enact. So there was like twenty four hours where like every drug was completely legal. Really? This was like twenty twelve ish. Yeah. 
Just purged, up. but just on drugs, dude. That's just a word for me. Looped. Yeah, was like, like hey, there's a loophole, guys. Everything was legal. Sell your meth uh, real uh, fucking quick, because like <laughs> this shit is gonna end before it began. <laughs> <laughs> that is spectacular. Jesus Christ! I'm trying to find it. That's so cool, man. Why does anything cool like that happen in our country? You know what I mean? In the states, they had that Chaz and Chop thing. You know, they just took over like six city blocks in the middle of Seattle. They're like, ours now. Nothing cool like that ever happens in Canada. Remember back in the 70s or the 80s, they had those FLQ motherfuckers where they were putting like bombs yeah. in people's mailboxes and shit. Be like, French liberation. And, like blowing up mailboxes. That's like the most exciting thing that's ever happened in Canadian history. And big Trudeau, not fucking loser, re- fucking retarded Trudeau. They're fucking like the big boy that got shit done. He like just unleashed the military upon them. And he's like, yeah, you want to fucking play games? Let's play games. Martial law, bitches. They're like, yeah, no, we're we're good, we're good, we're gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> Shit ended like a week. <laughs> like it's fine. Like we're good, we'll stop bombing mailboxes. It's all good, guys. Like Jesus H Christ. <laughs> we didn't mean to. All for the stance of like trying to fucking uh, liberate with uh, uh, liberate yourselves from Canada and shit. Like go fuck yourself, Jesus Christ. Such a ridiculous yeah. premise. But yeah, no, that's it was um, Ireland. It was Ireland that did it in 2015 oh really like x x it says here's just the thing it's like huffington post is what i found it on but it was like they accidentally legalized like shit like ecstasy meth mushrooms which not a drug whatever yeah but uh <laughs> but yeah they had, for whatever reason they were switching over or something and it just fucked it up <laughs> 125 125- Psalm 125 drugs mentioned in the act. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. Because they're too busy, like, car bombing each other over their different Christian beliefs to get legislation proper. And just, like, make all these, like, horrible mistakes where they're like, ecstasy's fine. I just fucking write it in. It's good, guys. Don't worry about it. Like, Jesus H. Christ, guys. You gotta get your shit straight. But yeah, to be, to be honest, though, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna be honest about Ireland, I think Ireland's got bigger problems than legalized drugs. I, th- I think yeah. that's probably the, the, the bottom of their tier of being like, things we need to salute. You know what I mean? Like, maybe, A, unifying the Catholic Church. So you stop bombing the shit out of each other because one of you is Protestant. That's That seems a little crazy, dude. Like, Fuck. Jewish people stabbed your, like, Christ in the fucking ribs with a spear and they don't hate each other as much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, plus, uh, yeah, Jesus Christ has become, like, Religion. an acronym. Or not an acronym, uh, an knowledge, or wait, what is that? Where you use a phrase to, like, speak for a certain standing oh god damn it i can't think about things i can't remember how linguistics work and shit dude english is a complicated language fuck language the, the, the headline on the washington post ireland accidentally legalized a bunch of drugs but only until thursday <laughs> I, love how like, I love the idea of that first article line, like that article line, coming out on a tuesday now ecstasy ketamine and a ton of other drugs are now legal to possess in ireland but only until 12 a.m. on Thursday. But only until 12 a.m. <laughs> Get rid of them quick. Oh, shit. Robbie's yep. in, dude. So I guess we got to transition our guests. Oh. He hopped in. Good. Well, bye. It's good to have you on, Jesse, man. I appreciate it. Good dude. talking. Yeah, man. Yeah. For sure. We'll have you on in the future again, man. Have you back on oh, for like I'll a full a one. Plan. All right. All right, Live buddy. Have a good night. Later, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy. 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 All right, and then whenever Robbie like actually Traffic connects his video, right now. yeah, he's been to Jay's like all day. But this is this is gonna be. I think this will be the most uh, interesting guest based on alcohol con- con- consumption. I'm so really <laughs> curious about fucking chase's story he's got to tell us though. yeah that helicopter i'm i'm curious to see where the fuck that's gonna go to maybe there was a dog in it and he threw it in the propellers because it scared him like punch it right in the face right into the inside of the chopper kind of thing yeah it wasn't doing this but it's not working oh you gotta you gotta you turn go. on your camera <laughs> watch jesus looked like too drunk to do it i can hear you for a second there robbie i'm not too drunk fuck off <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Well, if you don't get the buggy. camera, if you don't get your camera working in the next like 20 seconds, I'm gonna assume that you're too drunk. I don't know how to get it working here, so I don't. There should, Kieran. You use mobile. How do you get the camera activated?
Uh, if you like tap your screen, like your section of the screen, there should be like an option that comes up with a camera and like a mic and stuff. Press the camera button, it should pop it on for you. There's totally not an option for the camera button there, but no, it should That's be. All I know. Did you grant it permission? <laughs> are you are you that bad at life? I don't know. That that might be your issue is that you probably didn't grant it permission. Yeah. That's good. Technical difficulties on the world's worst podcast. It's not a first. It won't be the last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know what we are. We can't see you anymore. We know. I, don't what know where. I can't figure it out. No, we can't see you yet. I, it out. I know. Fucking hold on. What are you trying to do? <laughs> trying to get his camera working. <laughs> The camera has to work. Face. Also, whoever's there, watch your language. We're live. <laughs> okay, well, I'm watching my language, all right? Yeah, Relax. Yeah, show. fuck. We're now sponsored by PBS. Uh, to access your audio. I said, fuck, it won't do it. Then fix said, it. You probably said, nah. Fix it then. <laughs> and nah, it's okay. Nah, These guys are fucking just... Nah, I mean, no. No, yeah. <laughs> 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 It won't come on. Fuck you guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> do I hear, hear Simsy talking shit? About yeah, that? you hear Simsy yeah, yelling in the background. He's there. He's there. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that camera working. You gotta do it. I'm trying to get the fucking camera working. Bridget's working on it. I'm stupid. I believe in you. Or I believe in Bridget <laughs> more than I believe in you. Yeah, you better believe in her. You, you, you got this, Bridget. You got this shit. You could do it. We're putting faith inside of you. Worse comes to worse. Uh, you maybe close it and reopen it and see if that salutes problems. Cause I do. Worst comes to worst, we just have audio going here. No, no, that's not worst comes to worst. Worst comes to worst, you're gonna salute this fucking problem and get a goddamn video going. That's what you're gonna. That's worst comes to worst. I'm, listen, I'm working on it here. You're not working on shit. Your girlfriend is. Don't fucking play games. Take credit for what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching what she's doing here, and I don't understand it. Oh, that's a video. Oh. No. Oh. That's a good sign. That's what you're oh, looking no. for. Video is the word you're looking for. You're on the right track. <laughs> Video killed the radio star. I'm guys. going to get a beer while he salutes us. You guys coach him along. <laughs> Although he doesn't need much coast. This is entertaining by itself. This is great. Right, I'm, I'm just going to get a drink. <laughs> I can't figure this out. Here, hold on. Let's close it up. All right, again. One second. All right. Okay. Oh, you can do that. All right now, man. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh there we go. We're oh. good now. Hey! Oh, no hey. fucking way. There we go. Turn your side. Uh, we're good now. Oh, where's Martin? Let's you fucking turn your side. There you go. There you go. Full screen. You want to get a beer? Yeah, it's not working. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Fucking A. <laughs> How's it hold going? It. Hold on. How's it going, man? It's going. It's going. Fuck! <laughs> Use a beer, hold Great. it up, and get another beer. That's the way to do it. Beer and duct tape. Canada, that bitch. <laughs> well, I was going to borrow Bridget's tripod, but I forgot to bring it. <laughs> oh. What kind of beer you got? Is it Snur? It is! That's right. <laughs> I'm being a white girl right now. I got half and half twisted tea. You can shut it off. Okay. Martin. I've never seen Martin take this long to get a beer. It's, it's his longest fucking drink run ever. Yeah. Maybe he has a pistol. Yeah, maybe he got distracted. Maybe he's eating a Twix. And then he went to a congress. <laughs> <and he's> <laughs> okay, on the podcast. Let's go. No, Let's go. Get over it. Get over it. Let's see. You can see. <sighs> Jay. 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 Oh, good. Never mind then. Okay, Holy sorry. shit. He got it working. No, I didn't. Right? What is this world? Robbie, what's up, my friend? What's going on? How you doing, my buddy? You having a good night? Oh, yeah. Hanging over at Jay's house. Still over at Jay's? Where's Jay at? 
Uh, piss me. <laughs> well, get his dick in a frame. I know it might be hard to squeeze it all in there, but it's not going to be that complicated. <laughs> I see what I did there. That was, a, that was a huge dick joke, ladies and gentlemen. Easy peasy. So how's life been, Robbie? It's been all right. Yeah, not too bad? Just, uh, jobs all right. So, yeah. Nice. How's the new job then? Good. What did Fucking you switch? What, what did you switch to? What are you doing now? Liver drywall. Oh yeah, so that's got marginally less like throwing people out of arenas. No, I still do that. <laughs> oh, you see yeah? Oh, you still do that on the side. That's no. your, that, that's more for fun though, I would assume, than profit at this point, right? <laughs> that's a passion. That's a passion. Yeah, can't just give that up. That's too good of a time. Wait a minute, you're gonna give this me money true. to throw this moron on his ass? In, <laughs> in, and in. That's so easy. For reference, that's a normal size beer can no, in that no. man's hand. <laughs> what? No. Is Jay still pissing? Is he still rocking that fucking draining that shit out? Jay is definitely still pissing. He's not coming out of the house. Jesus Christ, what a monster. How do you flow that out that hard, dude? Whoa. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, PJ's here. Oh, where's PJ at? Bring him on. Hey, PJ, you want to come say hi? Yeah. Jared and everybody. Get on! That's right, me. Fuck you. Hey, PJ! What's up, brother? Oh, fuck. Give me a potato. Give me a potato. Oh. That's It'd be cool, funny man. if he just looked at Chappie's phone and it was just a picture of a dick. He's like, fuck! Got me again, <laughs> goddammit. How do you do this every time? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think PJ can hear us because I think he has headphones in. Yeah, that's you know, I have my laptop. I don't know how to work this fucking shit. No, I don't have an iPhone. <laughs> hey, you got it working, man. You did the, You did it. You did it. Nobody can take. Oh, well, yeah. no, I guess your girlfriend got it working, right? Yeah, it's not loud enough though. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> have you tried turning up the volume? No. <laughs> Where's the, where's the volume button? So who oh, all? Uh, who all's out of chase tonight? <laughs> I can't hear oh, shit. Right from the bottle. <laughs> I can't Hold hear on shit. one second. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <laughs> name, of, name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Name I love that game. Paul Gilbert song. <laughs> yeah, that Fuck is a good tune, actually. Yeah. It's a real good tune. Why is it not working? Did you but, get it? Are you still, are you still having some difficulties there, Rob? Uh, no, 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 we're good now. Shut up. There you go. How old are you? <laughs> It's all coming together. Hey, Are you um you guys coming to the uh to the hockey game on the twenty fifth? Yeah, that's not happening. Oh, no. Uh due to coronavirus things, it's not gonna happen. Also, it's Sims' kid's birthday. Hello. No, that's fair. I can understand the second point. The first point I don't I don't I can't get on board with. I don't understand. We're following guidelines. No, we're not More than ten people? <laughs> Fine, buddy. It's up to fifty now. You got to you got to get up there on your on your reading there, bud. <laughs> gathering uh, gathering fifty are allowed. Oh, that wasn't one of my birthdays. Since when? Oh, go to Since one like of last, mine, last week or the week before when they opened beaches and gyms, whenever that was, the sixth, I okay. think it was. They didn't open gyms yet. Yeah, the sixth they were allowed to start opening gyms. My gym's open. Hmm. I haven't been going in. Yeah. Because like I'm not doing I'm that. I'm not a crazy person. But. Uh, hey, you know. <laughs> Yeah, no, like that, that's your prerogative, but like we're totally adhering to guidelines. We're not being like ridiculous fucks. Like, you know, don't condescend on us for trying to have a hockey game and shit like that. No, no, by, by all means, do what you gotta do. I just, Sims' his birthday, or Sims' his kid's birthday. Yeah, that's fair. That's cool. That's cool. Just thought I'd, thought I'd see what's going on. So, like, uh, so none of you guys are coming then? You guys aren't gonna come play hockey or shit? I don't know who else is coming or not. I don't have no idea. All right, well that's cool. Just thought I'd extend the invite and stuff like that because we're all getting together and stuff like that, hang out and play some yeah, games for Dylan's birthday and shit. Sure. Yeah, man, me too. I know. <laughs> no, I don't care. Jay, Jay, Jay <laughs> around? Jay said no more. All right. But yeah, uh, yeah no. If, if it was a different date, it might be a different story. I didn't. I didn't know the news on the. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's totally, totally understandable, dude, for sure. I try sense. not to read the fucking news. I try to constantly read the news. I like to be informed. It's a good time. I like to <laughs> like to keep my opinion up to date and accurate. That's what I like to do. But that's all prerogative, you know. Well, 
cut out somehow. You know? Fuck. Yeah. Jaren, are you playing Warzone? Discord mobile. No. It's a bit of a oh, cut sometimes. Like but, uh, so what else is do with you guys, Chappie? You guys have a good afternoon hanging out and shit like that? Sorry, you're asking Jackie that question, right? Oh, yeah, on. no, that's what I was seeing. Because I know they're like all hanging out at Jay's place having a barbecue and stuff like that. I can kind of hear them in the background. Like, Wait a minute, we're all bitching about getting together for coronavirus. We're all complaining about us getting together to play a fucking hockey game for coronavirus, and you guys are having a fucking yeah, no, no, barbecue. No, no, no. Ten, ten people, ten people. All of you must start with me. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Because none of us are hypocrites, right, Robbie? <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. I'm a hypocrite. Ridiculous premise. What? Always looking at that. Lagash, uh, Lagash, Lagash. I don't give. But uh, yeah. You guys had a good afternoon, shit. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. So far, so good. No, I was I was trying to see if Robbie could respond, but he seems like he's just having like mad technical difficulties this entire time. Yeah. It does look like that. Yeah, he's not having a good time with it. So, uh, oh, it seems like he's just straight up frozen on this one. Oh, he done. He done, son. Yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just jump on to the next one. I think Robbie's is there another guest? Yeah, Chase is coming on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we'll get him in and, uh, see if that works a little bit better. Because, uh, seems like Robbie's having some, uh, real struggles here. Yeah. It's not working for him. Not working at all. All right, cool. Chase says he's pretty I'll much ready to go. Data, sort of EP, so. Yeah, that, that yeah. makes sense. All right. Plus, hold from on. what I remember, the Wi-Fi at Jay's was awful, anyways. Yeah, it <laughs> was. Uh, it was never great. I don't ever remember it being like a supreme thing. That's for sure. Oh, our cropping's all no, fucked up. Definitely no. not. Our crop dusting. And then I'll have to like readjust it again in two seconds, anyways. But there he goes. There's Chase. Hey, can everyone hear me? Yeah, what's up, buddy? Yep. Hey, how's it going? I'm trying to like hey, remove you. Chappie from the call. <laughs> I fucking can. Chappie's got a great sp screenshot, though. Right? Oh my god, this is all fucked. Hold on a second here. <laughs> Everything here is <laughs> fucked. This it all fell apart when Chappie just like froze himself to death. Thanks, Chappie. So, <laughs> there he there goes. He goes. Hey, there okay, go. thank God. Now we're back to normal. Welcome, awesome. Chase. Hey. How you doing, man? Tim, Tim Z commented, "LMFA uh, Wi-Fi had Jay's is just balls." Yeah, oh, we were saying that. Oh, is it? Is it balls? <laughs> I didn't notice. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't tell. I hadn't noticed. Well, you guys have a good rest of your night breaking your coronavirus things that you're so fucking concerned about. <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll have a good night doing this, I guess. <laughs> and, and playing ball hockey. Can't, can't play ball hockey. It's coronavirus, dude, while you're standing around like 15 other fucking people. Like, really, dude? That's, that's your complaint? Like, all right, well, that's your prerogative, I suppose. How you doing, Chase? Well, I'm all right. How's everyone else? We're good, man. Celebrating episode 10 and shit. Up into the double digits. Right. Yeah, holy shit, right? <laughs> I know. It's incredible, right? I think actually we should take a minute out while we got a quick second here, and uh, we'll do a little toast, you know what I mean, for episode 10. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think we've actually done like a formal thing here. Uh, root beer's fine, Kieran. Don't you. limit yourself. It's there, we go. there we go. Cheers, gentlemen. You know what I mean? To 10 episodes yeah, in, to fucking 100 more to go. Yeah, that's optimistic. <laughs> tis, tis, tis. Hey, man. One of us is gonna die before Look, that ten, ten was optimistic, all right? And we made it that far. So, like, I, I, the sky is the limit at this point. That's what I'm saying. If we can get ten episodes in, it's not that far to extend to think that we can get to 50 know, or 100. Got, we got our cut lord back, so everything seems to be on track. Yeah, it's true. Kieran's got his own place again and shit like that. Everything's real super solid, man. It's gonna the cut lord has internet. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> needs a fucking haircut. He has returned. I don't think I'm going to cut it. I don't care at this point. I'm just going to let yeah, it keep okay. going. Yeah, no, just let it go, dude. Oh, Chappie just I messaged. Have, He's like, it's I not have, working, man. I'm like, it's all good, man. I don't have anyone to impress, so I don't care. 
You get so, only yourself, Kieran. Never, never ever disco, okay. discount yourself. You know what I mean. Also, Kieran, I don't That's think true. you've, uh, I don't think you've actually met Chase, have you? I don't no, so. no, no, no. I don't believe we have. So yeah, Chase, this is a, this is our friend yeah, Kieran, one of my good buddies since like, <laughs> goddamn, I don't even know how long <laughs> I've known you. When the fuck did we actually meet, Kieran? We were like what, 15, 16, something, seventeen, something like that. Somewhere around that angsty age. Yeah, it was a long time because that was like way back in the day when I was dating fucking what's her nuts there. That was you know what I mean when I like actually first met you and stuff like that. The girl that works uh, on New Orleans. No, that's way before that. That's way before that. Way before that. Way, way before. I used to work in New Orleans. (laughs) Did you? Did everybody work in New Orleans except me, Brendan? Did you work in a fucking New Orleans? No, we live in London. We don't have no. New Orleans. Oh, that's right. Yeah, for <laughs> you guys. I thought I did actually for a second, but it was a Godfather's. There's the Godfather's. Oh, dude, the Godfather's oh, is so good. Is good. Godfather's. Yeah. Oh my Chase, God, Chase, so that's good. the one thing I'm, that I can like. Uh, that's the one thing I can definitively say that sucks for you that you that you don't live here is that you can't have Godfather's pizza. Godfather's pizza is probably yeah. like the best pizza in the world. It, it's, is it? Yeah, it's, really it's spectacular. It's made perfectly. It's all like. I don't know if it still is, but like it used to be from back in the day, it was all from scratch. You know what I mean? Like Man, all the all the dough the and the sauce there. and shit. I go to the one in Mitchell all the time still. Right. Yeah, yeah, I was honestly talking about it. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, dude. fuck off. Why is this even a question? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Godfather's is fucking incredible, man. And uh, when you get a slice chase, it's like like from crust to crust, it's like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like oh. a, just a fucking <laughs> massive slice of pizza. Fucking like, thick. Yeah, dude. Yeah, when yeah. you get those like two two slices or whatever, it's like, I, I can't remember. Back in the day, it was two slices and a pop for six bucks. And it was like, yeah, it was a retarded bad, amount man. of food. Like, yeah, yeah, that's Canadian too, right? So that would have been like, say, what, for Canadian you? six bucks. That would have been like yes, three, three like fifty, <laughs> four bucks for you or I'm something like that. Somewhere, somewhere in that area, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely a good deal. Oh, you know what? Before we get too far off topic, I need to know this fucking story. So, for anybody that oh. didn't, didn't uh, or isn't privy, obviously, uh, Chase posted no, a random picture. Second, so I got a piss. Okay, so. all right, all right. I'll preface it, and we'll wait for you to get back, and we'll distract it. All right, I got a question for Chase anyways. Okay, go. I noticed you were in a, a Pirates uh, shirt, and you said, you, last time you were here, you said you just moved where you are a couple years ago. Are you originally from, like, Pennsylvania or Pittsburgh? No, 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 no. Um... I worked for uh, they, they one of their minor league affiliate teams is based here where I live, oh, and I, I worked for them for five years. So if you look at my closet, which I'm not going to take the camera over there because you don't want to see that. Um, but uh, <laughs> if you were, to... whoa, Ooh. what the hell was Here's that? Yeah, that was that was interesting. What the fuck? Kieran's phone just went on wonky. I'm sure it'll be back. Ooh, that was trippy shit. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to adjust the cropping uh, for a second, and we'll just see if Kieran comes back, because if he comes back, it'll be normal again. But, like, yeah. that was weird. Everybody else heard that too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was, oh, that was cool. fun to watch. That actually. was super funny, because um, I went to, like, type an answer on Facebook, and as I typed L, it started doing that, so I just assumed I did it, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, God, what have I done? You're slow. No, you're good. All right, there's, yeah, Kieran's coming back now. All right, cool. What the fuck? You know what how to turn on the video? <laughs> yeah. No. I don't know how to do it, damn it. All right, welcome back. Anyways. What the fuck happened? So, uh, I don't know. yeah. I don't know. That was fucked. Yeah, that was odd. That was really fucked. But okay, anyways. I'll be, I'll be. So, yeah, what was the question there? You asked him if he was from uh, Philly? Oh, yeah. Uh, like Pennsylvania or Pittsburgh because he's wearing a pirate shirt. Isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you work for a minor league affiliate? Yeah, I worked for the, for one of their minor league affiliate teams uh, for level, five like, years. Single A or double A? Uh, advanced rookie league, actually, the step below single A. Oh, cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I did that for five years, and so as a result, my entire like closet is just full of pirate shirts. Like, I probably have six <laughs> of these identical shirts. That's yeah, that's a long time, <laughs> so, man. So, so like everyone, everyone that sees me is like, "Weren't didn't you wear that last time?" And I'm like, "No, this is a completely different shirt." <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I had the same one multiple times. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that pain with my uh... closet. It's like the same shit over and over. Yeah, no, I that's feel literally. Yeah, that's yeah. in my closet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel that pain with my shirts, man. Like I have like, I, I feel that pain with this shirt because I have three of these shirts and they're like it's my favorite shirt. You know what I mean? So like I wear it all the time. And, like, yeah, every time I fucking wear it, everybody's like, oh, you're rocking the same shirt. I'm like, technically, yes. In technically, no, because this one is a different one from the last one. And they're never made the same, asshole. (laughs) 
No, yeah. really not. This one, this version of this shirt is my least favorite because if you'll notice, right? The collar on the wrist goes longer on this side than it does on this side. Maybe it's just because you're fucking crooked. No, it's because they're fucking <laughs> fitted, goddammit. All right? You think I fucking buy shirts and fucking and, and goddamn dinner jackets and shit and don't get them fitted in my fucking form? This one I don't Why because this, this is a drinking jacket, okay? I wear this to, like, <laughs> Kieran's fucking uh, cornfield parties. <laughs> cornfield parties? Well, we used to, it, Kieran used to do these, like, these really, really cool things called heat wave back in the day, Chase. And they were, mm -hmm. like, um, I guess, like, a festival is probably the best way to describe it, right, Kieran? No. How would you describe it? <laughs> how would you describe it? <laughs> That's how I was. Well, like, uh, classyism is de derived by the individual. I always had a great time at those. I had a better time at those than I had at like most like concerts. Oh, it's it's a lot of fun for some for sure. But like, I definitely, unfortunately, I would love to be able to claim it was like a legitimate festival. I was. I don't so know. It, it was more so like me putting together a bunch of local local acts over the course of three camping. fucking days yeah and everyone camping out and having a good time all right fuck you you're downplaying this shit this is ridiculous so like what he used to do is he has this huge property you know what i mean and he used to like have like he built a fucking giant stage on the side of the house for fucking bands to play on with like a whole setup and everything mm -hmm. like that and he would have like a three-day fucking weekend party essentially like a festival even if you don't want to call it that because it's not classy enough, fuck you, I'll call it that because I don't give a fuck. That's what it was. It was a fucking weekend I... festival. And, like, he'd have, like, I don't even know how many Amping. fucking bands. What, 20, 30 fucking bands playing throughout the weekend? It was insane. You know what I mean? Like, all these local bands and shit just all getting together to play this show and shit like that and getting together and playing. And, like, people camp would camp out. out and overnight and, build, like, put up tents and hang out and shit. And, like, God, it was fun. That shit was so much fun. It was fun, definitely dude. fun. It was a great time. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping that like things cool off a bit so that we can do something like that again eventually. But yeah, well, yeah, but you never know. Obviously, like with the whole like climate of how things are and shit like that. You know, exactly. What I mean? Exactly. But, um, yeah, no. If you ever were to do something like that, then um, yeah, no, like yeah, I, I promote that idea 110 percent. As does the World's Worst Podcast. That shit is fucking spectacularly fun. We could do a live episode there. Yeah. No, we could do a heat wave special, dude, oh. for sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> just like we filmed the whole weekend with Brendan's fucking fancy ass camera that he's got and we edited it down and did a nice hey. nice little like six minute video or eight minute video and shit. Like that'd be fucking cool, dude. Well we don't didn't, take a uh, year and a half like Jackery did that one time. I was gonna say, didn't Jackery <laughs> film a bunch of like shit and then like I never saw anything out of it? Oh, it took it's like a, a year. It took a while. There's a lot to edit. Oh like yeah, project. no, for sure. He filmed the entire three days. It's an insane amount of footage to go through. Yeah, it was, but it I just was never, really, I never ended up seeing. Project. I never ended up like seeing the final result. Is all I meant. You know it's what I mean? Like, um, I'm, sure, I'm sure if you message him, you could get it. Oh okay, or, yeah, like, yeah, for sure. All right. Well, you know what? We'll do that next week, and we'll fucking watch it, dude. We'll watch it live. It might be on YouTube. I'm yeah, sure it is. Here. But uh, it has, it has we'll, that fight. Involved, we'll uh, we'll do it next week, Brendan. We'll do it next week. Oh, but yeah yeah Brandon thank you just posted it in the chat. yeah no we'll do it next week we'll do it next week when it's just the four of us back in the day of team ruthless was instead of bright <laughs> yeah horizons. back in the day before the old uh, bright horizons and shit dude when we threw parties instead of dj weddings right before you <laughs> before you were like serious about things and took things actually like seriously and shit yeah but um uh, guess... right yeah yeah and go ahead Chase's story. Yeah, I was gonna say hurry back because then we gotta do Chase's fucking helicopter story because like uh, I need to know yeah. what the hell is going on with that thing. That's ridiculous. That's God, yeah, I like, in here. I like to be in flight. Oh, is it, <laughs> is, it, is it cold in there, Brennan? It is. Shut oh, up. is is it cold for you on the 11th of July? Is that chilly? I know, poor boy. Oh, what a problem you've got. I'm wearing a suit jacket and shit, and I'm fuck. I can't even turn my air conditioner on because of fucking noise constraints, and I don't want to ruin the podcast. <laughs> And I'm not gaming, so my PC isn't fucking getting me any warm. Oh, <laughs> it's my only saving grace oh when it's that cold down here when we fucking crank a game for two hours. Right? Yeah, yeah. a bit of warm. <laughs> we gotta rock some. Uh, we gotta rock some Tarkov tonight for sure. I'm down. For we've been yeah, fucking. Definitely. We've been having some. Uh, well, I guess uh, Chase have uh, have haven't been having some good runs. You've been getting fucking shafted. Yeah, dude. Like I've, in I've the bad This days. is our uh, this is our <laughs> weekly Tarkov update too, Chase. Uh, we talk about Tarkov every week, and we always yeah. like let every. Hey, let, wait. Let, so on that note, isn't there a new reserve? Yes, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Update? I just wanted to catch him up quick. 
But uh, right. we always talk about Tarkov and like what happened in the week before. You know what I mean? And like all that shit. But you haven't been on the podcast except the last time. And it's very good to have you here because you are one of our Tarkov buddies. Yes. So uh, yeah, this is fucking great, dude. Because yeah, you're the, you're the guy that plays it with us the most outside of Josh. Josh is probably the only other yeah. <laughs> like most committed guy. And Mark. And Mark. I can't Mark. cut Mark short. But oh, yeah. Mark, Mark definitely has like a life. You know what I mean? Mark, Mark and Josh play solo a lot too. So. Yeah, M- Mark, Mark, Mark solo. more so though. Mark literally will ineptly play solo to get quests done, which is like what I did last <laughs> quest, which I find very impressive. You know what I mean? Whereas I, like uh, yeah. Josh will just do like solo runs with like you know hatchets or pistol runs and shit like that, trying to make himself money and shit. Yeah. So uh, yeah, when it comes to like big ball factor, uh, Mark Mark is the king, dude. That that big fat Mexican cock just like slaps us all in the face. <laughs> Hence why he's a higher level than all of us too, right? You know, what I mean? yeah, like, by like two levels. I think I leveled yeah. up to nineteen before I got got off uh, earlier. I hit twenty. So I hit I think, twenty I think last he's like night. Two levels ahead of me. Yeah, I hit I hit twenty in like a quarter last night. So uh, yeah, he's twenty two. He's two ahead of me, and uh, I can't okay, allow that me. because like last patch, I was the king of levels, and I will. Yeah, you were like that trend. You know what I, I mean? Played like, like half as much this wipe as I did last. So I just haven't been focusing on it. I've been like distracted by other games and shit. But uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start getting back into it again, and like playing it by myself again and shit like that, and not having to worry so much. But uh, that's yeah. how I got my uh, two uh, thumb, my two flash drives. I already finished that quest actually because I. Oh fuck you! Already had those sitting in my inventory. I'm still fucking stuck yeah. on that. I need one more. God damn it! I can't get enough of those sugar crisp. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't find him fucking anywhere, dude. I'll, like, reserve runs. I'll fucking suck a dude's dick in an alleyway because he told me he'd give me one and he doesn't. And I'm just like, well, that sucks. Now I just got fucking HPV and shit. That doesn't help. was in you the entire time. Oh, okay. is that the journey? Is that the okay, story? Is that the moral of the journey, Brendan? Is that what it is? It's not the flash drive. It's the friendships you made along it's the way. in the memory. Yeah. It's a symbolism. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. All right, we're getting sidetracked again. God, we're good at this. Holy shit, we need to hear. I need to hear that helicopter story. Yeah. So yeah, let me let me preface that. So uh, uh, Chase posted a picture in the Discord, and he said, (laughs) "I have an amazing story to tell for this Saturday," and it was that uh, as a caption of a picture of a helicopter flying above him, and that's all it was. So I'm guessing there was a dog in the helicopter, and you punched it into the rotors. After it startled you. Was yeah, it a poodle? Um, it was a poodle. No, strangely enough, no dog. Well, I take it back. There are dogs involved in this story. Um, <laughs> not in, in the listen. way of any previous stories that I've told. Well, um, you, you, well, listen, you can't talk about gross women like that. You can't, talk, you can't call them dogs. <laughs> that's a different podcast. <laughs> uh, no, I'm that's this podcast. That's a, that's a different story. That's entirely this podcast. Woman, woman, we don't know what dogs are. Mm-hmm. Sorry, continue. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Um, <laughs> so, so anyway, um, <laughs> this was uh, this was at work um, Thursday night. Nothing's going on. We're all just kind of hitting around talking and whatnot. And then uh, one of the other guards, Tim, says like, "Hey, what's this guy doing?" And we look out in the intersection in front of the facility there, and there's this white Chevy Suburban just flying over the hill straight towards us, right? Um, Dude cuts the corner at like probably 50 miles an hour. And as he does, he's like slinging bits of his vehicle off into the road behind him. Like the bumper <laughs> comes off. There's like bits of glass flying everywhere. Um, we're just like, what the fuck? He's running from something. What's he, this what's he is running not from? okay. Not even like, I don't even get to finish that sentence. And Washington <laughs> County Sheriff's deputy is just like flying over the hill here. Um, <laughs> and he stops and he starts to turn like the the... The Suburban had turned right, and Washington County Sheriff starts to turn left. And then he stops, and he kind of looks over at us, and he's doing, like, this motion. Like, which way did he go? <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're just all just like, he went that way. <laughs> that way, um, buddy. Go, go. And so he takes off uh, after him that way. And then uh, I, I pull out the uh, the police scanner app on my phone that we used to yeah. listen to things. And uh, we find he f- the uh, he f- ditched the car just down the road from us um, the deputy gets the deputy by the time the deputy gets there he's long gone like he can't find him but he take he says he took the keys out so he comes back to his vehicle he can't drive away Clever um, thinking. and then he just 
you know, we see the deputy come back to the intersection and whatnot. Um, he just and he goes back towards uh, the direction they came from, You're trying to cut him off. This thing he's head towards the um, through the woods towards back towards the highway where they came from. As we keep listening to the scanner, we get a little bit more details of what's actually going on. So what it, what happened? That suburban was rear-ended by like a tractor trailer. And then the police got there, and then when the, they got there, the driver of the suburban freaked out and. <laughs> um, he's he's the victim of the accident. Yeah, like, you, and he you got, got nervous and ran. He probably had something in there. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah there's that's, something that's else what... going on for sure. He had warrants or some shit. Like, yeah. Well, here's the see. Here's the funny thing. He apparently ran after he'd already handed over his ID, right? <laughs> oh wow, that's a folly in your plan um, right there. <laughs> So oh, that's a we're, we're, here, we're hearing from dispatch the uh, the suburban is a rental car out of Florida. Oh Jesus, they got him dead to rights. <laughs> the guy's uh, ID comes back perfectly clean. No no active warrants, not one for anything anywhere. Like not, doesn't even have a speeding ticket on his record. Like let the, me oh, just they, apologize for my pre assumption. Then that's fair. He's that's a fair. child yeah. predator for sure, dude. Yeah, he must have. <laughs> he must have fucked no an eleven year old. It's, it's just like it's just mass confusion on the radio. Everyone trying to figure out why he ran. Um, but as, as, the, as this is he happening, he just runs. Yeah. They're just calling in more and more cops. Um, so like, <laughs> sounds like what cops do. <laughs> it was, it was, it was one deputy and then he comes back and there are three of them. And then, <laughs> at this point yeah, we're, like, we're kind of, yeah, we're, we're, we're curious. And so we, we kind of like walk down, uh, through like our facility to the other end and we can see where he ditched the car. It's like right across the street from us. We have another building across the street. And it's basically right behind that bill, our building. Um, <laughs> so our property is technically sort of involved in this. Uh, as, uh, as all this is happening, like more and more cops just start showing up. Um, we hear over the radio, they're called for canine units from the next county over because their canine unit was apparently off duty at the time and didn't want to come in to deal with it. Because <laughs> apparently, he, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because apparently he gets have a joy. Ah, right, yeah. like, get over yeah. yourself, like Jesus Christ. You have a uh, choice in that position. Yeah, apparently, he has the choice in that position. Uh, the dog <laughs> wasn't feeling it that day, I guess. Yeah. Uh, take, the money, <laughs> take all their fucking money. You Take it all. You're boy. fucking useless. Pup wasn't yeah. feeling it that day. No, but uh, so <laughs> this this devolves into a three hour long manhunt across <laughs> like our property and the woods behind it over here. Um, that involved the helicopter. That was a Virginia State Police helicopter that I sent you a picture of mm. uh, circling us. The best part. There are three agencies involved. There's Washington County Sheriff's Office. There is the Smith <laughs> County Sheriff's Office with their canine units and the Virginia State Police. Oh, my um, God. Now, the best part we discovered in the middle of all this is that they can't communicate with each other directly over the radios. Oh, my God. Their radios don't don't talk to each other. So Washington County, who had the, like 30 deputies out here, by did, the way, yeah, by the end of this, there were 30 this? Washington County deputies there. Yeah, no, the radios don't apparently don't cross talk. This is amazing. All. That um, is so fucking stupid. No way this is but, real. Uh, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, but believe me, we, we were just <laughs> just as surprised like, as you are. We hear all of you with no. our iPhone app. Figure yeah. Right? Well, like, well, Jesus no, well, no, Christ. We, we, we actually <laughs> only hear Washington you. County. Smith County God. and DSP we couldn't hear. That's insane. Um, that is actually but, insane. But, uh, you know, no, it gets better. Ridiculous. We discovered this because a state trooper pulls up sees like all of the other cops milling around our building over there and like running through the woods just like running through the woods um and yeah yes he pulls up and asks like you guys know what's going on we're like do you mean you don't <laughs> like, like this is your job this, this, this is why they go into situations and shoot people who are unarmed because they don't fucking know what's going on <laughs> it's like you guys don't talk at all so but then th there's the best part so you now have um, you know, three agencies who are out there and can't talk to each other over the radios. They're just having to <laughs> shout back and forth. They um, start shooting each other. <laughs> and they're trying. They're you trying brought to these cans and a, and a string. You can hear each other if you hold it from, that, like, that, not too far you gotta, away. You gotta squeeze that would have been tight. more effective. <laughs> like, that would have been more effective than what they were doing. Um, <laughs> fucking ridiculous. That's amazing, dude. But, um... So you have the helicopter that's circling overhead and is trying to give everyone directions as to where it sees the guy. Because, you know, he has a camera. He can see where the guy is running from. 
Um, but he yeah. can't because he can't talk to anyone on the ground except for the two state troopers that are there. So then the state troopers have to relay that to everyone else. It's like, oh, yeah, and try to coordinate this. Meanwhile, I'm over here. Here in, in the guardhouse at you know at our facility, and I'm just I'm trying to do my job, you know, I'm trying to sign in a delivery. And uh the driver's like, Hey, was that the guy? And I'm like, What do you mean? And I look up, and then we just then we see a dude, no shirt, brown shorts, running down this hill, holding his pants up in order to keep him from falling down. He's just running along, and then we see like right behind him, like there are like 20 Washington County Sheriff's deputies running through the woods after him. <laughs> We got him. It's away. It's like no. an old English. It's like an <laughs> they English don't fucking catch him. Skit. They don't catch him. He gets away. <laughs> they never caught him. They gave up three and a half oh hours into this. God. They never caught the guy. They are beyond fucking useless. This, this guy might be my hero. <laughs> I, I listen, that's what listen, I was saying. Listen. At the end, I was just sitting there like, this guy is like, I, I'm in button pressed. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> yeah, the police, maybe the police aren't that useless, and maybe this guy is a fucking mastermind. <laughs> Have we considered listen. that point? This guy might be like playing were... 4D chess while these guys are playing checkers. You know what I'm saying? Man, like... All, like, all I can picture is the greased up <laughs> death guy from Family Guy. That's that's exactly what this was. Yeah, I was like, that's probably what it was. That's you can't what catch me. You can't the, catch me. The, the, the best part, though, of the whole thing was we were we were watching. We, we saw where his vehicle, where he had ditched it at. And he, he had tried to return to his vehicle. Um, and then when he realized the keys oh, were gone, the, he, keys. the helicopter's watching him. So he, reala he realizes that he's, he's pretty much screwed. So he turns around yeah. and just, like, holds up his hands. He's surrendering to the helicopter, right? Um, so the helicopter is trying to talk to someone on the ground to get him over there to uh <laughs> to, wow. like, to like arrest him and then but of course they're having trouble communicating with the teams on the ground and the helicopter runs out of fuel and has to wave off <laughs> so he sees the helicopter like flying away from him and then <laughs> Amazing. He waits, like eat my time this is watching, now now we're, now we're watching him stand here for two mi two minutes two whole minutes after the helicopter is left he's just standing here like he's waiting for someone to show up and he just goes like this and just takes off again. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so uh, the whole theory about him being like a smart criminal is just fucking out the window. No, no, it's we're not. Back, no, back, it's not. I'm saying no, no, no. Useful. This this attests yeah, my no. point further because he's playing 4D chess and they're playing checkers, dude. He's on another level. That's what I'm saying. You know Maybe what I mean? He ran right away. His his, his per, he, like our perception of him <laughs> and his stupidity. Maybe that we think he's stupid, but that's because we're so dumb that we don't know how to yeah. escape from the police. You know what I mean? Whereas he is on the next level. He's on the Starship Enterprise of escaping police. You know what I mean? Yeah, crash a car, run around half naked, and... It worked! Did it not work? Did it not work? <laughs> it worked. I'm, I'm, I'm arguing from a point of, like, statistics and workability, all right? And I'm saying, like, 100% of the time, from the stories I've heard, that's worked. <laughs> I only heard one story, so yeah. I might be a little biased, but I'm just saying. There's, there's it's, that, there is that one video of, like, a naked guy slapping a cop or something like that and running away from three of them. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Nobody <laughs> wants to grab you when you get your schlong out, dude. Nobody's interested. That's amazing to me. He's, like, he's naked rolling around with a couple of them. They kind of He kind of bounces back up, and a cop's right there, and he just, like, smacks oh, him in oh, the face. Oh, I have seen that one. Yeah. I've seen that one. That's a good one. Hold on. I'm going to go grab another beer. I'll be right back. Oh, there goes my headphones. They fell down now. <laughs> Hopefully, didn't break him like me. <laughs> that that story is better than I could have imagined. That was fucking great. Oh my god. It was like we were just sitting here watching. Like no work happened for three hours. By the way, yeah, no, like, yeah. Yes. Was, <laughs> was this yesterday or the day before? This was Thursday night. Yeah. Um. Like, we just sat there watching. Did that guy for three just hours. eventually turn himself in? Like, have you checked, like, the local news to see what happened? As of yet, they have not caught him. <laughs> they have his ID. They know who he is. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean. Holy fuck. He's safe. Nobody wants to go there right now. Holy shit. Like, just, like, just, like, just claim him. Florida's got him. Yeah. The worst part was the rest of the night I had to deal with people who were like scanner chasing showing up. So like, hey, you guys know anything about that? Get off our property, please. Get the fuck Just... out of here. <laughs> you don't have a reason to be here. I'm tired of dealing with you. I have other things to worry about. Please leave. <laughs> yeah, no shit.
Oh, also, actually, I forgot about this part. But uh, one of our, uh, the switcher trucks, which are like the, the trucks, if you've ever been in any like, large warehouse facility, they'll, they'll back up and hook up to the trailers and just move them from one warehouse to another, like just moving trailers around to the yeah. facility. Um, the facility across the street um, that all this was kind of happening around is where we, we also store a lot of like trailers over there when they're not actively being loaded or unloaded. So the police are over there going through with their dogs, every single trailer over there, opening them up and like, you know, checking and make sure he didn't like cl climb up inside of one of them or something. And uh, while this is happening, one of our switchers who has no idea what's going on, apparently we radioed in and told everyone, Hey, don't go over there. It's probably not a good idea to be over there. <laughs> um, he apparently didn't hear us on the radio because he just goes over there, takes a trailer, drops it off and hooks up to another one and starts pulling away. And meanwhile, they're right at the back of the trailer. He's looking up to are some like deputies who just start running over there screaming at him. What the fuck are you doing? Like, we can hear it across the street. <laughs> just, I'm doing my job. Yeah. yeah, just completely oblivious. The best part is, is like they start yelling at him and whatnot, and then he just takes off with the trailer anyway. <laughs> He's like, see ya. Like, nah. Can't catch me, bloods. Yeah. What did I miss, gentlemen? Oh, so much, dude. Dude, I can't even imagine. It must have been exhilarating while I wasn't here. Thanks for filling me in. I appreciate it. You guys are <laughs> You guys Good talk, right. boys. Good talk. Good talk, yeah. Actually, the Long best. Story short, I've started. The Death we started a No Martins Club, actually. Well, God damn it! I'd like to be in that club, <laughs> but my name is Martin, so that's gonna be really fucking complicated. Well, it's okay because you're the first one. Oh, Martins! <laughs> it doesn't say anything about one. Yeah, exactly. That's right. <laughs> now the next one's screwed. Yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. So you were on last week, Chase. You had a good week. Yeah, yeah, so this week was pretty uh, pretty good, yeah. Marius, did you have to do any of your fucking crazy long 16-hour shows? No, I didn't, because I, uh, I just flat out refused to do them this week. Good for you. <laughs> they they asked me, and I just said no. Too? As a gentleman does. Uh, it was it was warm. I don't think it was that bad. It was humid this week, though. That was that made it kind of... It was cool. a, it was insanely hot here this week. Like, yeah, absolutely it insane. It was nuts. I don't know what the like conversion is uh, to Fahrenheit. I'll Google it. But yeah, yeah. So it was around forty degrees here, so it was like a hundred and four. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's that's yeah, that's about thirty degrees hotter than it was here. Yeah, and then it was, in, it was closer to it was closer to like thirty one here. In work, here. in work, it was like forty five. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was like what what yeah, it was a brutal week, man. It was yeah, it was like one oh eight here technically in Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah, screwed screwed every bit of that. That was a, <laughs> plus humidity too. That's just the baseline. You know what I mean? Like because we get like excessive humidity here too. I don't even understand why. I think it's because we're near the lake. I think that's why. Um, That'll do it. Yeah, but I don't really know because I'm not a fucking meteorologist, nor do I care to research all I know weather. Is you get it back. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was just gonna say. All I know well, is that like, like, like out like west, always bitch. Yeah. Yeah, no. London like gets that like, uh, what they call the lake effect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where, yeah, like that's why you guys get dumped with a massive amount of snow and shit in the winter too, and a massive amount of rain, because like you're in mm -hmm. this like vortex essentially of like precipitation or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Because you're like you're close enough but far enough to be within the weather effect of the lake, some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like London's just like a perfect storm of situation, right? Mm -hmm. Just in that spot. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, yeah, no, London. London gets like all the extreme weather and shit like that. Also, we're uh, we're nearing the end of the podcast, and nobody has noticed my gag for the entire episode. What? Every time I've went for a beer, I've changed my shirt. <laughs> oh, damn it! That's what took you so fucking long. I thought you've been taking a bit longer <laughs> for the drinks. We we even commented like, Jesus, Mark's beer grub runs like three seconds usually. Yep. Every every yeah. single time, I've been changing oh. my shirt. So yeah, when you go I back to watch the fun. vod, and you even fucking you even made note like note of talking about your shirt. I did. Oh my god! I did. Dick. I did. <laughs> Subversion, gentlemen. That's what it is. That's, fucking That's what it is. So yeah, when you watch the vod back, you'll get a good chuckle out of that one. I, I figured like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't reveal it until the end. You know what I mean? I wasn't yeah, gonna I was say anything. At, like, at your table, like, where's the flashlight? Like, is it, the same <laughs> it is. It's just off frame. Do you want me to grab it? <laughs> I, mean, I, I can grab it as long as you don't start using it on camera i can use it with my fingers <laughs> please no. it, it enjoys it. it it enjoys it just as much <laughs> i 
Uh, on that note, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> yeah, no, you know what? We've been going for like two hours, anyways. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I think I think we've had a pretty good run for a tenth episode. Spectacular. What do you guys think? Mm-hmm. Funny. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mm. I didn't see the first half, so I'm just going to answer yes and hope for the best. I like it. I like it. There was many <laughs> like a... many racist things in Street on that, and now you have it, uh, imbued your beliefs alongside them. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> You're screwed now. You <laughs> fucked up. Dis- Hold on. I have a button for my disclaimer on my stream deck somewhere. Hold on. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need, dude, for sure. You always have to have that ready and able to go anytime I'm in your live stream or podcast. <laughs> things can and will go wrong but uh yeah i think that's pretty good run boys what do you guys think oh yeah call it an evening yeah all right world's worst podcast number 10 spectacular anybody who's out there thank you for watching we appreciate you and love you thank you to all of our guests to chase to robbie to jesse to all you guys for spending time with us tonight we really appreciate you making episode 10 what it actually was you guys yes, are the best. For any of you that are watching from the group and not a part of the page, join the page because the group will be that's right. being taken down shortly. Yeah, we'll be right. shut down. That shit's yeah. going away. There's too much discourse being spread throughout that group. We need to keep things on the straight and narrow and in the in the page where they belong. There is too many people in that group spreading disinformation and information that nobody needs. We need to keep people on the straight and narrow. If you think that you have too much of a neck and that your skin is not red enough, you need to buy my supplements. Martin, yeah. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. TV or whoever was like, I knew it. I knew you were changing your shirt. Ah, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Someone You're on to it. Oh, Amy's too clever for her own good. That clever, beautiful bastard, dude. <laughs> Uh, how can somebody be that smart and that pretty? That's not fucking... That's stupid, dude. Shouldn't exist. World's Worst Podcast, Episode 10. Thank you for joining us. We love you. We'll see you next week.